Amen. Amen. How's Man. it going, Facebook family and everybody watching? You already know who it is. Kingdom Minds, Brother Jeremy Galvano. You got uh, Gerard, Brother Lou. We had a really, really powerful day today. We just want to share it. And you guys, uh, you've seen the title for today is The Harvest is Ripe. You know, the Bible says that the laborers are few. And in these last days, God is calling his children to go, to go outside of the, the church walls, you know, and to win souls. The Bible says compel them to come in. Not necessarily to the building, but compel them to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what it's about. So we just had a really good time today out there just in, in the presence of God. You know, we were real patient. Um, we didn't just say, okay, we're going to go out. We made sure we stood in prayer. We made sure we heard the voice of the Lord. Not to go out, but just, just to know, you know, when, when to be ready. So um, hold on. I'm getting feedback. I don't know why. You guys hear that? Okay. We lost, we lost Jeremy. Uh -oh. Yeah, see, yeah. It's all right. He's going to tab back in. But anyways, you know, like I was saying, the Bible says the harvest is ripe and it was just in our spirit just, just to go. You know, sometimes we overcomplicate things and we say, oh, I don't have it all together. I, I, I have to fast. There's not wrong fasting and praying. We did all that, you know, prior to going out. But if you're waiting for God to tell you to go, he already said to go in the word. He said, go, therefore, make disciples of all nations. You know, and the Bible says how they're going to hear without a preacher. You're the preacher That's that they right. need to hear. Not That's your right. pastor, not your apostle. You're the preacher that they need to hear. So what is so. We just we just came out here today to encourage everybody a two letter word. Go. That's all. Go. Don't try to fit. Don't try to figure it. it out. That's and if it. you need some encouragement, you can always inbox us after this. We're going to pull up some scriptures. We're going to get testimonies. And by the time this live is done, you, you guys are going to go buy some signs and you're going to be on the streets or the Holy Spirit's going to show you guys how to do it. So we're waiting for Jeremy to come back. But um, I know Brother Gerard got a lot to share with you as well. We, we all got stuff to share because God was moving. You know, I put a little clip up, but. I couldn't capture everything. We, we were out there for two hours. Ten plus souls were saved. Yeah. People were healed. People were delivered. There, was, yeah. there were people that were suicidal that came. They got set free. There were people that ho had no hope. They, they heard they heard hope. They heard Jesus. Jesus is hope. You know, so Brother Gerard, you want to share something while we're waiting for um, Jeremy to get back on yeah. here? Let's see. Let me see what yeah, happened. Yeah, praise God. Um, Amen. I see we got Brother David on here. Blessings, brother. Good to have you. Sister Candace, always blessed to have you. Brother Eric, we appreciate you. Sam, Pastor Sam, blessings, brother. Good to have you on. Amen. Here. We appreciate you brother, yeah, coming on Sam. here. Appreciate the love, guys. Um, Like I was just telling the brothers here, we've just been being patient with what God has called us to do here. And what I mean is we were all reading the book of Acts this last month, and we didn't even know it. Mm. We didn't even know it until we sat down and we were having worship and fellowship. And one of the things that I saw in the book of Acts is that these men of God, they prayed, they worshiped, but then they stayed still. Come on. They waited on the Holy Ghost. And as they were waiting on the Holy Ghost, they received visions and instruction on what to do. See, you can go. We are right. supposed to go. The gospel starts with go. G-O. Mm -hmm. That's what the gospel starts with. We're called to go. But as we went and we obeyed the Holy Spirit, he showed us where to go and what That's to right. do. And guess what, guys? We were effective. We were Amen. effective today because we were in God's will and we were obedient to what God called us to do today. We did not go out of ourselves. Uh, the spirit of the Lord went before us. He was preparing the people already. And like I heard them even say many times, like we just heard this last week, the fruit is hanging low. Um, mm -hmm. they're ready out here. They're hungry for the gospel. Um, That's right. Uh, uncompromised, uh, unwatered down gospel. They're ready for people to come out and show the love of Christ. And that's what we did, man. We, we, we grilled up a ton of hot dogs, man, and, and fed the people. And, and brother Lewis was out there on the speaker evangelizing, calling them in. They came over to me thinking that they were just about to get a hot dog, Oh no! but they got an encounter with Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm Praise telling God. you boldness, boldness came upon us. I gave my hot dog and I said, before you go, do you know Jesus Christ? You think you came over here for some food. I'm not out here just to feed Amen. you. I'm out here to give you the gospel of the kingdom. And not one person really turned it down. And I'm going to be honest with you. We saw a lot of salvations today. It literally blew my mind. I don't want to, I don't want to exaggerate. I can't even really count. I know we right. had 10 plus easily, Amen. but it's what God had did. It, it, it had nothing to do with us. Here's Jeremy. Jeremy's coming back in. There he is. Yay. Hey. Galvano. Well, you guys don't tell me you're going live anymore. Uh, wait, Jeremy. I thought you were in here with us. What happened? No, you don't tell What's me. What's going on here? Terrible. <laughs> I know I you didn't get Jeremy, raptured. is your phone by you? Because you're. you're... Why? He lives in the Jeremy. woods. 
Yes. Is your phone by you? Because it's 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 it's, <laughs> it's freezing. Am okay. I frozen right now? No, no, you're no. good. You're good. Oh, good. Are look, we look. live or just? Sam no, we know we're, we're live right now. We got yeah. Sam Beto. You guys got, let me see where's my phone at. We got Pastor yeah. Sam's on. We got we got brother Sam. David. They said we was fishing David. for some hot some hot dogs. You better say it. I had a yeah. <laughs> hey man, come on. We had hot dogs right on the <laughs> right right on the line. I don't get invited anymore. I'm lying. <laughs> Amen. No, that's important. Yeah. What, what brother Gerard was saying, we, we just wanted to make sure that we were in, in, in unity in the, in the spirit, yeah. you know, so that's why we're all praying. And like what brother Gerard said, just, you know, if, if you seek in the face of God um, and you're like minded, you should be hearing the voice of God. I shouldn't be talking about prosperity and he shouldn't be talking about something totally different. Amen. You know, and what God gives all of us a, a burden for souls as we spend time at the feet of Jesus. He just started to give us a, a burden for souls. And he started to say, okay, you know, because many of us needed to heal because a lot of us been through some things, you know, we don't really want to get too deep into that. But th there was a, a season where we needed to heal. And once that healing was over, God said, okay, now you, you can go, you know, because I don't know if you ever heard the saying, hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. How can you flow in the Holy Spirit when you got so much hurt in you and this, you just feel like you just got to spend time. At the feet of Jesus, you know, the Bible says there's a time to be silent. There's a time yeah. to speak the time just to relax at the feet of Jesus. Put all the ministry down. And we always we always use this every week. I think this Martha, Martha, right? She was doing all the ministry, but Mary was at the feet of Jesus. Amen. So as we all Amen. spent time at the feet of Jesus, the Holy Spirit started to speak to us individually. And then we came together collectively and we were in unity and we were saying, listen, brothers, it's time to go out. No excuses. We don't have it all together. I don't know what I'm doing, but. Let's just go. Let's pick a block. You know, the, the Lord spoke to Gerard. We agreed in our spirit with it. And we just moved. Grab yeah, some yeah. hot dogs. Grab some 50 cent signs. We hold them up and just go. And people get saved because it's not you. You're not doing nothing. The Lord is the one that adds to the church. The one is that the one he sends them from the north, the east, the west and the south. The Holy yeah, Ghost is the one that brings them in. But how, how's God? God's not God's not going to come down from the sky. Have you guys ever seen Jesus come down from the sky and feed people and lay hands on people? No. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we just got to get out the walls and, and do it. So shout out to Sam and those that do that. And David, and, you know, praise God yeah, for that. Praise God. Yeah, praise yeah. God. Yeah, you know, we're just starting to do it. It's exciting. I'm not even a guy of like, I didn't grow up doing that. I grew up going to church, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, growing church up boy. in church and, and just, you know, church boy, waiting for <laughs> Sunday morning to come around. It's almost, it's almost like the devil scares you and says, you can't do it. Or if you go out there, you won't have the right thing or the right, you won't be prepared. But, you know, just like Lou said, or just like Moses, you know, uh, stretch forth his hand out to the water or the ark touched the Jordan River when they crossed it. Mm -hmm. Once you do it, something splits, something happens. Come on. And today, right. like, honestly, today, um, you know, Lou was being more of like the host out in the street yelling and, 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 and compound, <laughs> John the Baptist. <laughs> compound, the, compound them to come in. Come and, on, you know, me and Lou man. took the role. Of, uh, I mean, me and Gerard took the role, of, you know, more praying today. And honestly, as soon as you open your mouth, literally, I cried in front of two people. And they're like, mm -hmm. why you? Why? It's a spirit of God was so heavy there. And, you know, we had words to these people. I was talking to one guy and um, he just got out of jail. And I'm like, you know, he's not going to receive from me. But, but, but when the Holy Spirit hit us, he, he was just engaged in the prayer. And Come he on, said, I got yeah. chills. And then Gerard came over and said, said the same exact two things that I told this guy. And I'm telling you, I was shook. God, God proved my own mind wrong, fear. And, you know, you just got to go out there and um, just like the lady at the well, Jesus touched her and she had, she had, she had no chance. She had no choice. She had to go back and say, there is somebody I got to talk about. And, you know, once you, you, you're compelled to go out there and it was, it's scary at first. If you're not, if you're a church boy, but once you go out there, God, <laughs> yeah. God does come through for you. He really does. Always faithful. So I, I just want to, I just want to give a quick encouragement to, to anybody that's listening that I know that there are believers in Christ that you're stuck in the old system of just sitting in the walls um, I know Sam, I know David, you guys have been doing this. Praise God for what God has or uh, have you guys doing. But there are some listening that maybe you guys have not been moving. And, and, and I believe that a lot of the body is frustrated because you want to move. You want to go out and you don't know what to do and you don't know who to link with and you That's don't right. know where to go. I would encourage you to seek God. I would encourage mm -hmm. you to get on your knees and seek God 
uh, hear his voice. He says, my sheep know my voice. Hear what God is telling you to do. And I want to encourage you to step out on faith. Whatever, whatever he tells you to do, just do it. God told us to just go. He says, I don't want you to have it figured out. Just go. I'm going to go before you and I'm going to bless what you do. And even when we got there, the first three or four minutes, I'm telling you, we, we caught one or two already, but I'm like, okay, God, how is this going to work? And, and these guys are over there, like in the street on the speaker, compelling them to come yelling. <laughs> This is crazy. So listen, I was doing English and Spanish. I, I know a little yeah, Spanish. Yeah. He was like, oh, I, no, de, de, de I said, oh, my God. So hold on. So I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there today. I, and honestly, we didn't even talk about open door mission last night. There was fruit there of repentance. Yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah. Praise God. The gospel was preached. But um, I, I'm sitting there and I said, Lord. You're not a liar. We obeyed you by coming out here today. I said, but they're not going to come to this spot unless you draw them. That's right. He I said, it. please, Father, send them by your spirit. I got to tap into that one. Man, after I said that, man, I'm telling you, I couldn't even keep up with all of the people that were coming. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm laying hands on this one. I'm laying hands help. on this one. I'm over here preaching the gospel to this yeah. one. We need help, man. I'm serious. I'm preaching help, the buddy. gospel to this one. I'm like, Jeremy, come here. Get away from the street. I, I, I'm talking about, listen, I'm telling you, I, I got overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can, I, can I tap into that one? Yeah. It's, um, uh, Oh, my brother Andre, blessings. Yeah, you know what? You know what came to mind was was when when God was disappointed in the children of Israel when they made a golden calf when Moses took too long, and then Moses came, Moses Moses came down and, and smashed the tablets on the gold uh, 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 the golden calf, and God said, mm. "That's it. I'm not going with you anymore." And Moses pleaded with pleaded with God, said, "God, we will not go unless you come with us." And, and come on. You know what the Bible say? If the if the what is that? The laborers build the house. The house without God, the house is built in vain. Yeah. Um, it's it's somewhere. I don't know. Sure, what's that? Or um, whatever. You know, a verse. I mean, Lou, we're talking about earlier. I prophesied in your name. I witnessed yeah. in your name. I can't. Right. That, so if you go, Moses, Moses's cry was, God, if you don't go with us, it is in vain. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that. if we. So what Gerard just said was was key. You have to. You have to, um, you have to be full in order to give something. You can't just go and say, you know what? This is something that is something that I want to do to say that mm -hmm. I did it. Look Don't go in vain because, um, honestly, all three of us, like Lou said, it was timing. Um, we try to be prayed up as much as possible. And we wanted to give something that we don't have. We don't have right. what we don't have with it. We don't have what they got. We only, we only gave them hot dogs. Everything else that they got from Gerard and Lewis is, is what he gave us. So, so. It's my first time out in like five or six years going out to the street and then he's tapping in next. Um, but, but honestly, going in full, going in full is key because God brought me to that verse. Moses said, I don't want to go anywhere with, don't go in vain. Good. Sorry. Praise God. Go I, ahead, Lou. I, I'm always reminded of uh, Mark 16, 17 to 18. It says, these signs shall follow those that believe. Mm. In my name, they shall cast out demons. And we know the list. They, they, they shall um, heal the sick. And just like what these brothers are saying, we, we wanted to make sure, you know, we are full of the Holy Ghost. You know, not, not just have the Holy Spirit. No, we want to be full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You notice in the book of Acts, almost every chapter, they were speaking about how they were full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You know, because when you're full of the Holy Ghost, you don't have to try too hard. You, you, when you're full of the Holy Ghost, that means you know there's the power in Jesus name. And you don't have yeah. to scream. You don't have to shout. Because when, when we're on these streets, you know, mm. you, you're going to come across some people. There might be some killers, some murderers. We came across suicidal people today. And, these, jail. Yeah. and the Bible says the anointing is upon us to set the captives free. So if, if we're praying for people, you know, we're expecting God to set them free at that moment right no. there. They shouldn't. Yeah. They should grab that hot dog. And by the time they leave, they should be sensing the presence of God. They should sense the peace of God if we're full of the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. So we just wanted to, you know, wait upon the Lord and just make sure we, we were getting filled every day. And, and uh, it, it was perfect time. And, you know, the flesh yeah. might say, well, it was too late. You guys should have been did it. God was saying, no, nope, no. Nope. The footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Oh, you know, right. we, we know we, we just know that the Lord was with us. It was very fruitful and people were set free without screaming yeah. too loud, without shouting. Oh, yeah, the Father, in Jesus name, you suicidal spirit, we break you in Jesus name. Yeah, that's it. That the joy yeah. of the Lord hit him. Hey, Amen. Did, did Gerard say any testimonies yet? Uh, of no, what no, happened? I'm, I'm actually about I'm actually about to. Yeah, I just want to share something. And then I'll go into one or two. Um. First of all, I'm going to say I learned a lot. 
these uh, I learned a lot today. I'm going to say on the fly is stuff that I had already knew as far as head knowledge, but putting it to action in the field is another thing completely um, entirely. Um, mm -hmm. What Lewis said is absolutely correct. When you're out there amongst those spirits, um, the devil knows if you're living a clean life or not. That's right. You got to mm -hmm. make sure you're full of the Holy Spirit and you're in the secret place. Come on. Otherwise, you just in the way. Don't even waste your time. Um, you need That's to right. be full of the Holy Spirit. You need the word of God in mm -hmm. your heart and you need to trust the Holy Ghost out there. Otherwise, you're just you're in the way. They know just like in the word where he says, Jesus, I know and Paul, I know. But who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Do those unclean spirits know who you are? Do they That's know right. if you're a man or a woman of the secret place or not? Do, mm. do they know that you carry True. the authority of Jesus Christ? Because there are some that says Jesus's name, but the authority of that name is not on them because they don't dwell with him. That's right. They don't dwell with him in the Come secret on. place. So it's important that we dwell with him in the secret place so that when I release the name of Jesus, they know that I'm one that stands in that authority. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Come, Come on. on. And one of the things that the Holy Spirit told me today is right here. As I was ministering, let me grab it. I lost it. Give me a minute. I'm in the book of Jude. And this okay. is what really hit me today as I was ministering, because different people required different things today. Mm. Now, in no way, shape or form did I compromise the gospel. I never do. And you guys know that. But check this out in Jude chapter. Oh, I mean, do. it's only chapter one, we verse 22 and 23. And it says this. And some have compassion, making a difference. Mm -hmm. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the very garment spotted by the flesh. One testimony is we had a brother there that was a Muslim. Well, he said he was mm -hmm. a Muslim and, 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 and I felt the need to just be real raw with the brother. Um, I fed the brother. I gave him a hug and I told him, I said, listen, brother, I'm not trying to offend you, but I said, this may offend you, but I don't care. I don't want blood on my hands. Allah is going to send you straight to hell. Let's go. Jesus, the truth. Je Jesus Christ is the only one that saves Christ That's and it. him crucified. And you need to put your faith and trust in him. Amen. And I told him, I said, here's the thing. I guarantee you, this is how you know. Cry out to Allah tonight and he won't answer you. Mm. But I said, I promise you, if you sincerely seek Jesus Christ, when you cry out to Christ, he will answer because That's he right. answered me at the lowest point yeah, in my amen. life amen. when I cried out in desperation. So what I did was I said, listen, as you seek Jesus, I don't want you to pass before your time. I'm going to pray protection over you. I prayed for my brother and he was so blessed. He was very confused. He went on his way. Right. Mm. I had another brother over there. I didn't have to do that. He, 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 right. I could tell by the Holy spirit, he already knew what he was doing was wrong. There was no need for me to stand there and say, hey, listen, man, you can't do this. You can't do that. Mm, come on. In fact, as I was sharing the gospel, just the love of Jesus, I said, listen, man, God loves you. For some reason, I needed to just tell this man that he began to weep. And he says, I'm tired of the mess I'm in. I'm tired of living like this. I don't want to be like this anymore. How, how, how do I sound? Am I breaking up now? You got but anyways, he says, I don't want to live like this anymore. And I said, listen, brother, I just want to pray and agree with you. And he didn't even need me to lead him in a prayer. He prayed himself. He just began to ask the father to cleanse him and give him a new heart and a new mind. And I said, you know what you just did here, brother? You just did what David did in Psalm 51. This is why many don't obtain salvation because they don't realize there is nothing that you can do to fix you. There is mm, nothing that you right. can do to make yourself better. It is all Jesus Christ. And David had it figured out. He says, God, you have to cleanse me. You have to give me a new heart and a new mind. It's all the power of the Holy Ghost. We just go. We preach the gospel and the Holy Spirit moves behind the words that are preached. Go ahead, guys. I'm sorry. Amen. Go ahead. You got something? It's just, it's just, um, I wrote down earlier when when Jesus when Jesus hit, uh, uh, rose Lazarus from the dead mm. and uh, the um, the next chapter when Mary and Martha were at his feet the fair the Pharisees were looking literally were looking for the miracle to kill it and um, I read a couple of days ago and it stood out to me in a different way than than ever before uh, the Pharisees wanted to kill Lazarus just because they mm. wanted to kill the witness yeah. and. Mm. It spoke to, they wanted to kill, they wanted to kill the newness. The Pharisees were all about, obviously, you know, self-indulgent, high positions. You know, they didn't want to mess that up. Jesus was coming in to level the playing field. I died for you. You can all come to Jesus. You don't have to go through the, 
you could pray right to Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is going to soon be. Uh, and so they wanted to kill the newness. They wanted to kill uh, mm. Jesus and the kingdom coming. Mm -hmm. And that spoke to me is the devil wants to also kill your, uh, your mission in the streets. Perfect. And, yeah. Good. and just what, and just what uh, Gerard was saying, just these, these certain people, the, they're out there. It doesn't matter what, 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 how old they are. They came out of jail or they're, they're drug mm -hmm. addicts or they're suicidal. They don't care who you are either. If you have the Holy Spirit, the devil is trying to go around and kill the Lazarus inside of you. The, you know, what, 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 what deadness was inside of you and it's alive. The devil is trying to go around and say, you know what? It's not important. Someone else would do it, but it's all of our, each and every one of us can really, um, uh, really affect anyone that's out there. You don't have to say, well, you know what? I didn't grow up in the city. This is my perception. I didn't grow up in the city. So, so the city evangelism is not for me today. It was right. proven wrong by God. There was many different age people from jail came up to me and literally he was looking at me. He said, he said, as you were speaking, I got chills. And then Gerard confirmed it. And then there's a, there was a, um, a lady on drugs. She said, I want to be, she, she asked me, I want to be delivered from drug addiction. I didn't think someone like me, you know, like I didn't grow up in the, in the someone like me can't touch someone that, that, that that's down and out, but the Holy spirit levels the playing field. Amen. And, and all the devil wants to do is like the Pharisees were going around and trying to kill the witness that Jesus, um, that Jesus raised Lazarus. He wants to kill. He wants to kill your, uh, your, your passion. That's right. He wants to Come tell on. you it's not important. It's that you can't do it. So when I read that, I'm like, you know what? Wow, that's crazy. You know, the, the devil's out to kill that drive where, where Jesus said, go out. Go out and, and, and proclaim my name. Amen. I see uh, Brother Andre over here saying the fruit's hanging low. Amen to that. You know, Brother uh, Sam Beto saying where we at. He said uh, private victories give birth to public victories. That's powerful. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit levels wow. the playing field. Amen. You have something you want to say? Uh, I did, Jeremy? actually. Uh, you, 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 on what Jeremy said, you, you know why that is, Jeremy? You know why you were able to touch him even though you came from a different place? Because you offered him that of which every human being needs. What we yeah. don't realize is I don't care where you grew up with. I don't care what your background is. We were all created to be in fellowship and be in the presence of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. That's what we were created to do. So these people are just trying to fill that Christ like hole with anything that they can. A lot of them have no clue that they need Jesus. That's and right. the reason you were able to reach him today was because you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Look, let me show you Romans chapter one to 16 for I am not ashamed of the gospel Amen. because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone mm -hmm. that believes Amen. It, 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 it don't. Wow. You hear the thunder. Praise God. Praise God. But it's, 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 it's not just talking about, those that 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 are good it's not just talking about those that are in the suburbs or wherever you are it's just it brings it brings salvation yeah. to everyone that believes you weren't ashamed of the gospel today we were not ashamed of the gospel today yeah, yeah, we, we were not ashamed of the gospel last night at right. the open door mission and because we were not ashamed god moved and salvation came unto those people it doesn't sure. matter who you are or where you come from if you're filled with the holy spirit and you're Amen. not ashamed of the gospel because the power is the gospel yeah that's all it is. They all need the cross. They just don't know that they need it. Mm, that's true. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, I just want to say, um, you know, it's like the moment, like what these brothers are saying, the moment you set your mind, you know, to go out and you say, I'm going to do this. Don't think that the enemy is just going to sit back and he's not going to start to attack your mind. You know, that's where the battlefield is. It's, it, it's in the mind. And the moment mm. you say, OK, I'm, I'm going to go and pull these souls out the fire mm. and uh, I'm, I'm going to win them for Jesus. You know, of course, with the help of the Holy Spirit. You know, um, he's not just going to sit there. He's going to try to torment your mind. That's why the Bible says, you know, we got to fight the good fight and we got to cast down wicked imaginations. And we got to discern that, you know, this is beyond my flesh. This is the devil talking to me. And just yeah. just me personally, like the devil was hitting me. I know it wasn't my flesh. It was the devil. And like this, this crazy anger was coming on me and and all types of stuff was coming on me. I'm like, hold up. So what I had to do, I had to pull out the sword of the spear and start to fight back. Oh. Or, or I could just sit there and just let him torment my brain and say, guys, you know what? I'm, I'm, I can make an excuse and say, I can't make it Saturday. You know, I got, I got to do something with the family knowing sure. that's not the will of God, you know? So um, don't just think that uh, it's going to be a walk in the park. You know, I, I believe the, the word says that even a weak Christian can make the devil tremble. But when you go and you actually, uh, um, you seek after the great commission to win souls, the devil probably has a heart attack 
you know, because you're pulling, you're, you're taking these, um, Amen. you're going to the kingdom of darkness, to the yeah. enemy's camp, and you're bringing them into the light. Of course, yeah, it's yeah. the power of God, but God ain't going to, he's going to use his people to do it, you know, his, his children. Yeah, true. So yeah. uh, that's just an encouragement to everybody out there that, that you say, okay, I've been waiting to go out. Um, I'm going to start to head to hit the streets. Just know if, if anything, j- just be ready to uh, fight the good fight. Be ready to do some warfare and go, no matter yeah, how yeah. you feel. Just, just obey the Lord. And one of my motivations to go out is that there's no turning back from hell, you know, and um, mm. just to be honest, many people that go to hell daily because well, what if the church will go into these streets and start to pull them out the fire and win more for God, you know? So that, that's one of my motivations is like, wow, I don't want to see no sure. one go to hell. That's a horrible place. You know, some people go to jail and they could get, they could get set free. Once you're in hell, there's no turning back. You can't say, Lord, Amen. forgive me. It's too late. Mm. It's done. And that's why I want to go out there. So Lord, get whoever's watching, oh. get them a burden for souls and, and just let Amen. them know, Lord God, that there ain't no turning back from hell. That's for eternity. Amen. 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 Go Sister go Blanca's on here. God bless, sister. We see your prayer request. Um, we're gonna address uh we always address prayer requests at the end. Um, we'll invite people into Zoom. You could come win it in with us. Um mm-hmm. we'll pray with you. Uh, if God has a word for you, we'll give you a word. Um, even though, even if we miss something, don't be discouraged. We always go back and read the comments. We always pray for everybody right always. at the end. You know, brother Lewis is right. It's because Satan was scared of what we're doing today. He's not a, he, the devil isn't scared of people talking. He's scared of people. That's moving. right. Come on. I'm going to say that again. He's not afraid of people talking. He's afraid of people moving. Amen. He knew what we had planned to do because me and the brothers, we get together uh, alone on Tuesdays and we worship and we pray and mm-hmm. we seek God on what to do. And uh, we obey when we hear. So we started to move. And, uh, th- you know, this isn't just happened this weekend. We had a brother we sat down with Wednesday um, and, 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 and discipled, led to the Lord and discipled and prayed over and everything. We, we, we went to Open Door Mission Friday. We, we, we went out Saturday. My point Moving. is, we, I, I've been getting hit and these brothers know I got hit hard this week. Satan attacked me this week. But I said, you know what? It's not about me. Um, the word says that we need to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily, follow the Lord. I trusted God with my issues. I said, you know what, Lord, I'm going to focus on you. Here's a verse that blessed me, guys. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. Check this out, fellas. This will bless you. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Mm. And the things that thou has heard of me among many witnesses, the same commitment that you should be faithful men who shall teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Some of the things that we get caught up in worrying about, we need to ask ourselves, does it have eternal value? Mm. Come on. That's right. We need to ask ourselves, does it have eternal value? Does it really matter? What's more important? my personal issue or souls. I had Mm. to lay aside whatever I was going through. I had to lay aside whatever Mm. was going on to go out and be a soul winner and check it out. As I did that, he took care of those things that were bothering me. Amen. Amen. You know, it seems like whenever God wants to do something great, it's always like, even when like, you know, even like worship, I did worship for a while. Um, whatever. I wasn't a lead singer, but I, 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 I was in the team and I, and, and, and I helped leading it. I had a big part. And like the Saturday beforehand, when you're all confused and, and you're like, oh, it's not going to go well tomorrow morning. Let's change all the songs. That's one of the most powerful Sundays that it, Come on. That it, that it always turns mm-hmm. out to be. So like, you know, like Gerard said, when the devil knows something big's going to happen, he always tries to put obstacles in your way. And, and here I want to encourage, this came to my mind when Lewis was speaking. There's, I wrote down, there's always someone somewhere, wherever you go. So if I be lifted up, what? I will draw men unto me. So wherever well, you go in faith, God, you know, like the, like, like the man said on the um, comments, the, the fruit hanging low, you know, the, it's going around a lot. So yeah, just want to encourage you. There is always someone somewhere, wherever you go, if you go out in faith, they will come. And, and this is how important God, I wrote it down as I was saying that, um, and this is how important God thinks of even one person. He even told Abraham, right? Go to Sodom, check. 50 40 go back and check for one and guess what there was he mm. he sifted the he sifted the city out there wasn't one but then right but then but then check us out he went to jericho <laughs> joshua went to jericho 
He didn't have to spy the land out. God already told him, I'm going to give you the land of Jericho. But guess what? God, God knew there could be one person in Jericho. And, and God went to Jericho before he destroyed it, and he saves one person. Who was that person? Obviously, right? The scarlet cord. Rahab. Mm, God, wow. God went to Jericho and said, before I destroy the city, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go grab Rahab and her family out of there. And so, so there's, there's, there's always some one somewhere to step out. And um, right. it was, it was just proven today. Great miracles. Um, it's, it's exciting. And, Amen. and I, pr I pray that this excitement lasts a year down the road. We were just talking about that earlier. Like, you know, pastors always start like this uh, on fire. They go. So my prayer for all three of us is that this, stays fire and i want to keep everyone accountable Amen. you keep me accountable i keep you accountable i want this to keep fiery in two years i want it to be this, this excited about souls amen you know, you know some of you may maybe viewing this now or you know after we post and you may say oh you know i don't have the call of an evangelist right well don't let the don't let the enemy lie to you because in, in second timothy four five it says this this is paul talking to timothy i believe and he says as for you always be sober-minded endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, mm. fulfill your ministry. So everybody that's watching here, the you work. might not, ha you might not have the office of an the evangelist, work. but do the work of an evangelist. Like these two mm. brothers here, like I've been, I'm an evangelist, you know, but these two yeah, brothers, they don't have the office to one, but they were, they were doing the work today of an evangelist. That. They were like laying that. hands on people, prophesying over people. People were being set free. The Bible says, you know, the captives were being set free today, you know, just really? by simple obedience. So don't, don't be discouraged and say, oh, that's not my, my call in life. You know, mm, if you're a believer, you got the Holy Spirit in you, you're full of the Holy Ghost, go and um, just go witness. You don't have to have the, the office yeah. of an evangelist. There's always something for you to do. Even if you don't want to speak, you could pass food out to somebody. You know, you could just hug somebody and cry with them. There's so much work to do out there. So that's why the word says the laborers are few. Just make yourself available. Don't worry about, yeah, don't yeah. get too all technical at all. Oh, I'm a prophet. I'm this, I'm that. I got to stick. Right. Go do the work of an evangelist because Christ is coming back. We see the signs. If you go, if you read Matthew 24, he says all these signs already, they took place already. So what are we waiting for? If Jesus, Jesus is knocking at the door, now it's time to go and pull these souls out of the fire and we got to stop making excuses. And I, and I speak to myself about this, you know, and uh, you don't want to force it neither. So if you say, oh, I don't have that burden for souls. Well, if you spend time at the feet of Jesus, hmm. the Bible says yeah. we'll have the mind of Christ. And what yeah. is the mind of Christ? That not one should perish, but that all should come to repentance, you know. So, so we waited, and like, like, well, what these men of God were saying, we were at the secret place, we were waiting, and we just got that burden for souls. And when you got that burden, yeah. you can't sit still. You, you got to go. It's time to go. And if you sit still on the pews, you, you just be like, ah, you won't, you won't feel it no more. Yeah. And they just be like, I'm tired of this. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my yeah. gas. Well, the Lord is saying, well, you're being disobedient. Get up and go. So, if somebody feels yeah. like you're, you're bored at church, I promise you, if you go to the streets and you, you seek after the Great Commission. Your, your fire be rekindled in you. Can I just say a verse before Gerard goes? I got a feeling Gerard's going to go. So let me say oh, a verse. Just, Gerard's going to go. Gerard, you can't stop Gerard. You can only hope to contain him a little bit. That's all it is. I'm still looking for something that, that works on both. But let, let, let me just say a verse that, um, let me say a verse that just, just um, Jesus, Jesus in John 15, when, you know, I'm the vine, you are the branches, you will, mm -hmm. they will hate you because they hated me. And they said, I, he said in John, John 15, verse um, 27, um, he said, I'm sending you the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. He will testify about me. Look at verse 27. Simple, what Lou was saying. We all have that gift. Test That's right. And 27 says this, Holy Spirit will testify by me. And this 20, 27 says this, and you also must testify because you were with me. So that just tells me if you're with Christ, Jesus says, you must testify. So, it, and then, you know, we're all reading Acts and all throughout Acts, what's it say? They flogged him. They, they put him in jail. And what's on. one thing in common at, at the end of every, at every chapter, what's one thing in common? It said, and they could not stop talking about what they heard and what they seen. That's so right. that's all throughout Acts. They couldn't stop talking about it because of what they what? Heard and, and seen and what they believed and they actually seen Jesus. So like what Lou said, if you're in the secret place and you see Jesus, you will not be able to stop. You won't be able to stop or uh, 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 talking about what That's you right. heard. And what, you won't be able to stop. You won't be able to. Amen. Right. Amen. I was always Amen. just fired up my whole life. 
I, I wasn't. This is just a brand new Jeremy, you know. Honestly, I wasn't always just fired up about. So they're pushing me too. He's the evangelist over here. I mean, you know, he's pushing. Me. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to throw something in there real quick. When, when it talks about, I'm reminded of Philip and other people. What did what did they see Jesus do though? You okay. see, the power. They saw there was power in the streets. How many believers you see just go there and, and talk, but there's no demonstration of the Holy Spirit? I, I understand it. love could be a demonstration of passing our hot dogs, but also casting out devils and healing the sick and prophesying. Like one okay. of these brothers said in here, everyone, if you're a believer, these signs shall follow you. It should be natural, like brushing your teeth, like drinking water. It's not something mm. you have to work up. And many people don't have the tools because God equips you. God gives you the tools and he equips you if you're going to do the job. So if you're just going to sit on a pews and you're going to see the same 20, 30 people every day, how many words could somebody give you? Like, no, no I don't, I'm tired of getting words and I don't need it unless it's a real supernatural word. I, I don't want to hear it right now. Well, you know what God's telling me? Go. That's it. What, Two words. What? What'd, you say? What'd you say? Go. What'd you say? Go. go. What'd you say? What? Pull souls on oh, the go. fire. I can't, I can't hear you. I think, I'm um, in my ear. <laughs> I think for me, you I'll know, what later. just hit me after, after listening to both you brothers is, is, you know, Many people glam glamorize the work of the ministry, but it, it, it can be hard and it's not always glamorous and every day isn't on a mountaintop. Um, but the greatest joy is doing the work in the will of the father in heaven. That's right. And you got many people that are fascinated with titles and I'm just so over it. Like you Come got on. people running around saying, well, I'm a prophet. OK, well, don't tell me you're a prophet. Then go prophesy. Show it. Yeah. Fruit. I, I, I'm an evangelist. Well, if you're an evangelist, then go evangelize. <laughs> I'm a teacher. Well, if you're a teacher, then teach. Right. See, okay. we want to be called something without doing the work. Mm. Be that thing. Don't just want to be noticed or recognized as that title. You understand? Be that. Move in that. Right. right. right? right. Because look, no one has to tell us what we are. We each know what we are, I believe, by the grace of God and, and, and words of prophecy that we got through the years. Amen. Amen. But as we went out today, we all did what we naturally do. Right. Lewis got on the mic and he was compelling them to come. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They came over there to me and Jeremy and I'm pulling people left and right, hugging them, teaching them, breaking scriptures down in the midst of it, laying hands on people, You're minding right. and loosening. That's what we do. Come no on. one, we didn't go out there and yeah. say, Hey guys, listen, I'm gonna go left and you're gonna go right. Ooh. No, 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 no. We each naturally flocked and flowed to what it is that we Come do on. and who we are. Listen, yes. I want to encourage you if you're listening, please don't compare yourself by others. Paul says, Those that compare themselves by themselves are not wise. Mm. You be who God called you to That's be. Right. That's where you're gonna Amen. be most effective. Amen. Yeah, true. Don't try to be like other people. The only one that had all of the gifts was Jesus Christ. The rest of us, the body of Christ, we need each other. I couldn't, listen, I could have went out there alone, but I wouldn't have been as effective without my brothers here today. We yeah. need each other. So don't worry about trying to be like somebody else. Don't worry about trying to compare yourself to somebody else. Flow in what God has given you. Use the gifts that he has given you. Be who you are. No gift is more important than the other. Yeah. Amen. We all need each other. The five fold. I got five fingers here. I need all of them. And when they come together, I can make a fist. Mm, good word. And, mm. I, and I can knock Satan's head off. Good word, sir. But Amen. if I poke him with one finger, what What's is that, that going to do? Okay. But we need each other, comments. right? Right. Praise God. We all need each other. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the comment. This means comments. I was oh, just scrolling. Yeah. We, once again, we just thank everybody, you know, for fellowship and with us, for building with us. And we see the comments. You know, sometimes we get in the zone. And, but, you know, I got my phone right here. I know Gerard got his. Uh, let's see. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Uh, my wife says we need to count the cost. Jasmine mm -hmm. Delgado right there. Don't and, steal uh, my Sam stuff, says he, he said, dude, ministry always hurts. David says people are more focused about how many tongues they can pray in more than saving souls. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's real. Amen. Good work, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yep. Our sister said there's competition in the body of Christ. You know why that is, sis? Their minds isn't on Christ. Their minds are on themselves. Yeah. People, people start to idolize ministry and they start to idolize offices. I care about none of that. Come on. I care about none of that. My desire is to be effective in the kingdom. My desire yeah. is to see change broken on people. My mm -hmm. desire is to see lives transformed so yeah. that they can go out and win other souls. Yeah. That's yeah. my desire. I want to pull as many people out of hell Amen. as Come possible. Yeah, yeah. That's my right. desire. I could care less about all that other stuff. And yeah, that's yeah. people's me, problem. Yeah, yeah. Let me throw another my desire also, which what you mentioned, I'm just gonna say it for you because you left it for me. But but our desire mm -hmm. is really to please Jesus also, because he says. When he, yeah. when the disciples asked him, are you hungry? 
and you know, Lou said it yesterday, but um, when you're hungry, he said, my food, what's what, my food is to, is to do the work of the father. Come it's, on. it's just as important as prayer. Cause you know, he said, he said, I give you water to drink. You'll never be thirsty. I give you bread to drink. They never bread to eat. They'll never be hungry, but he, you know, so that satisfies your spirit. But he says, what satisfies me also is to do the work of my, so, so let me jump on the, the desire. Uh, once we do the work, the work of, of an evangelist or for once we do the work of God that That's actually right. satisfies Christ. He mm -hmm. said the work, uh, I don't need food. My work and my father, the work that I do for my father satisfies me. So that tells me when I do work, let me not compare myself to somebody. Let me not yeah. be like somebody else. Let me be like me. It doesn't matter how bad I do something. If I tell somebody, Hey, you know, Jesus loves you. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, Jesus loves you. Um, it, it doesn't <laughs> matter if you are, you you're fulfilling and you're satisfying Man, Christ because you're right. doing, you're doing what you could do. And that, and Jesus says, my work um, of the father is, is my food. So it does so like, like what Gerard said, don't, don't compete. Just do what you could do. And God is satisfied Period. with that. Be who you are. Be who right. you are. Yeah. Praise God. That's right. Be who God called you to be. Right. I mean, I'm not the best talker, you know, lose a Me rapper. Either. I can't rap. I can't, I Kinda. stutter more than he raps better. So it's like, <laughs> he's a better talker than I am, but it doesn't matter. Guess what? God's still proud as me as he is as proud as Lou. If he can speak better. Amen. If I can just tell someone Jesus loves you, That's it. like Aaron, like Aaron and Moses, one stuttered, one didn't. I'm like a Moses. I stutter a little bit. So like, it doesn't matter. God is pleased with me by even, let me go a step further. He's pleased with me by just driving there. Amen. <laughs> David says you're a blessing to him, Jeremy. Amen. Oh, David, I love you. I don't know who David, but I love you, David. David. <laughs> David, uh, David uh, Alvali. Oh. David Alvali. Yeah. With the fitted yeah. hat. The one that got, the, I believe, the, the cameraman. Oh, I love you. I yeah, love you, David. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah, you, David. yeah. The oh, I love you, yes. When I say cameraman, it clicks, right? Oh, done. Click. David, we already don't clicked. No pun intended. Before. <laughs> Jeremy can't see the picture of the comments, David. Yeah, we're trying to get okay. him up to date with Facebook. Forgive yeah. him. This is, this is my phone. <laughs> That's my phone. Oh my god, is, he's got this paper. Is, this is this is what I gotta do when they talk. I'll, I'll forget my I'll forget my comments, so I gotta write them down because amen. They're, just, they're always on comments and everything. But amen. Be yourself. You know, you, you you know what it is. Uh, uh, you know, Lewis said something powerful earlier that's really ringing to me. I can't shake that when he said, um. Amen. Let's hear we it. may not all be evangelists, but we're called to do the work. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Of an evangelist, right? We're all called to share the gospel, to share the good news. Mm -hmm. We're all called to share the good news, but many don't do it because maybe. In, and listen, this isn't this isn't a discouragement. This is an encouragement to get back right. up and get that fire going, guys. Amen. Listen, maybe if you don't have the fire uh, uh, or the heart to win souls, it's probably because you don't got a heart for Jesus anymore. Mm. You 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 it, it, you got to have a heart for God before you can get a heart okay. for souls. I'm Amen. serious. You got to hunger for God because when you hunger for God and you dwell with God, you begin to care about the things that He cares about. Amen. Your will begins to line up with Him, and His will right. isn't spooky. What is it? He's not willing that any man should perish; that all should come unto repentance. Amen. It says He's divine, and we are the branches. And if we abide in Him, we will bear much fruit. Fruit mm. of what? Fruit Jesus. of the Spirit Amen. and fruit unto repentance. See, we're going to be concerned with that. But if we're not abiding in God, if we don't have a hunger for God, what we're going to do is we're going to be entangled in the cares of this world. And we're going to be focused on building mm. our own kingdom instead of God's kingdom. And That's then, right. We're yeah. all called to do the work of the evangelist. We're all called to share Jesus. When you're in love with somebody, you talk about them. Amen. Right. When, and there's something. Oh, God, I mean, cut you off. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Cut them off. Ahead. Cut them off. It's okay. Cut them off. No, there's just one thing I want to say. Um, you know, I heard that saying that um, I heard a few people say this thing. Uh, some went, some were sent. Let me tell you, God has already sent you through the word, through the written word. You don't have to wait for no man or for no woman to go and send you to, to, to win souls. You know, for an example, nobody said, OK, you three guys, you guys can go right now and go to St. Paul. You have my blessing. I break that religious spirit in Jesus name right now. You know, you, you, when, you know, when you go, you go when you sense that, that you're ready. When you're full of the Holy Ghost, then Amen. you go. Because God's not going to honor something like right now, like in the last two days, about right about almost 20 souls got saved in the last two days, 10 plus. Uh, and then yesterday uh, we were at the, at the homeless shelter. 
So oh. God's not going to, you know, honor something in. There's not going to be no fruit if you're rebellious and if you're walking in, in disobedience. The hand of the Lord is not going to be upon it. You know, it. but when, when God is when God is in the midst, everything just runs more smoother. Don't get me wrong. You know, the enemy might show up, but you, when you're tapped into the Holy Spirit, you back them up. You push back darkness. And, and that's what Amen. being full of, of the Holy Ghost is. You know, the devil will pop yes, his sir. head out, you know, sometimes, but the Holy Spirit will show you how to handle him. Why? That's because right. greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Just like That's Paul, right. when, when uh, with the, the, the woman had the spirit of divination, she was there for a few days saying, these are the sons of the most high. And she was saying, yeah. but then he was, the Bible says he was greatly annoyed. And what did he do? He turned around. He said, and then get out of here in Jesus name, cast that devil yeah. out like this. Amen. Why? Because he was full of the Holy Spirit. And God's been Amen. ministering to me that like this past oh. couple of weeks, not just, Amen. not just having the Holy Spirit, but being full of the Holy full. Spirit. When you're Amen. full, you don't have to try too much. You just be That's obedient you, and you don't have to scream. You don't have to sweat. Jesus didn't do any of that. Right. He just said, get out of him. Get out wow. of here. By right, the finger, right. by, it says by the finger of God, you cast out devils. Mm -hmm. And you know, Amen. get out. And God already showed me that as we continue to do this, it's going to increase. He's going to send us more help. He's going to send us resources and mm -hmm. things that we need. This is going to grow because even today, if you guys remember, he, he sent us somebody to help today to do. We didn't even know to do. <laughs> right. He was a believer. <laughs> Listen, he, we, he was a believer. He pulled up and got out. He says, yo, y'all here in Jesus name. We said, yeah, the man grabbed a sign Come and on. started helping. We it's didn't even dogs. know who to do was. He had a couple hot, he had a couple, <laughs> hot. He had a couple <laughs> hot dogs. The brother got a sign and he started helping. Listen, this thing is going to grow and God has given us even more vision. Some may think it's foolish, but I'm telling you right now, I'm about to go get one of those little kids swimming pools. There was on, a water right. spigot out there. I'm Bad telling you right now, I'm about to go get one of them kids swimming pools and blow that thing up and fill it mm. up with some water. Baptized. And we're going to start baptizing people Let's right go. on that corner in the middle of the street yeah, in yeah, Jesus name. Yeah, we're going to start yeah, putting them down in water. I'm Hallelujah. telling you, that's right. This that's thing right. is catching fire and it's about to grow. We're going to start being the church outside of the walls what sundays is going to turn into it's not going to be a lecture anymore mm. sunday is going to be a celebration and a giving of thanks to god like for what he has been doing all week yeah right, wow, right. yeah right. yeah it's not, it's not we're going to serve day. god all week yeah, monday yeah. to saturday sunday is right. going to be a day of worshiping right. giving god praise amen for yeah. what he has done all that's god. week yeah, 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 come yeah. on now somebody yeah, that's yeah. god amen yeah. Yeah, that is the formula. A lot of pastors say that, but then they get co so caught up during the Listen, I love every pastor out there. They put their time in. That's but right. You're right. Mm -hmm. We should be witnessing all week. And a, a lot of pastors really want to do that. They say, you know what? Sunday should be celebration of what we did. But people get caught up all week and they get in a, uh, they get in a bad groove. And Sunday morning turns into what? Not celebrate. Sunday morning turns into the ministry day. But we keep on ministering to what? We keep on ministering to this, like you said earlier, we same keep on ministering people. to the same, thank you, the same people. But here, yeah. let me let me jump on your religious comment. You are religious, Gerard. You're religious. You're going to bring right. a pool? You're going to bring a pool? Oh, you know, Not a fancy oh. tub? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. Or you're not going to do it on a Sunday? Here, check us out. Oh, good. Let me let me confirm what you just said. I'm Today, hold, hold on real oh, quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm past, on, listen. I baptized so a couple weeks ago. My niece is so hungry for God. Here, here, here's a testimony. We're sharing testimonies tonight as well. Let's go. Here's a testimony. I'm so not religious. My niece called me a couple weeks ago and so she religious. said, Uncle Gerard, I want to be baptized. I haven't been baptized. I called her to my house and baptized her right in my bathtub. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. I promise you, well, if, if somebody walks up on me and there's a pond over there to our left, we're going to go and they want to be, I'm going to put them right now. Yeah. I'm telling I'm going to get in there with them. That's right. Even if I ain't yeah. got a change of clothes, just amen, like the amen. man in the book of Acts, where he says, listen, <laughs> there's some water over water. there. Water. That's right. Yeah. What's stopping yeah. me right now from being baptized? He said, well, if oh, yeah, you believe amen. with all your heart, you can. Amen. Amen. That's the amen. only qualification. I'll listen, 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 listen. I was I was going to qualify <laughs> your religious thing by saying that, but you stole it from me. I was going to help sorry. you. I was going to make no, no. I, I didn't remember. <laughs> I was just going to make you look good. But, 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 but you know what? I do appreciate, you know, I appreciate what Cornerstone did with Frank. They really revolutionized bat baptism. Oh, praise God. Yeah. But you know what? But you know what? Man. It doesn't, I mean, I love what Frank did with Pastor Talk Doyle. Talk about that they, a little uh, bit. They, they took their time with baptizing. They gave, yeah. so I really, I yeah, learned yeah. something from Cornerstone. But you know what, though? Let me, let me go a step further. Um, it's not religious because today, uh, today or yesterday, I read the story of, you know, how Saul got converted. Yeah. Uh, he, mm -hmm. and the scales in his eyes. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Saul, yep, yep. white person. But, but you know, I never caught in the Bible. It said when that guy laid hands on him, he received, he received, he received, but then guess what? 
and he got baptized. baptized. So it's like he got back. So the thing is this, we, we think baptism is a, a ritual we should do. It's actually, oh. it's an act of faith. The Bible says they were saved and baptized. Mm -hmm. Amen. If anything else, if anything else for baptism, you please God by just obeying him. And, and, and what does the Bible say? Faith is the one thing that pleases God. Faith pleases God. You could have, you know, you can, you can pray in tongues, but if, or, or, or you can heal people. But if you have faith, meaning I believe in you, Lord. So the thing is, if anything else, God is pleased when we, so I do, I was just kidding. I do appreciate how crazy you are by bringing a pool to a park. It seems yeah, religious, man. but it's an, it, it's, it's an, not. honestly, I'm convicted. I'm a really, I grew up, I said it weeks ago. I grew up a Pharisee. I am, I was, I was, and I probably still am religious thinking. I'm trying to get out of there, but bringing a pool would look religious, but it is so faith. Amen. It's so it's faith, faith. Based, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, I have um, no clue if somebody would even want to do it, but you know what, Jared, just to, just to no, build on, yeah. just to build on what you said, Jeremy, because like I said, we, we, if you missed when we started, we've all been reading the book of acts and we didn't even know yeah. that we were reading the book of acts together mm -hmm. and what has happened is as i'm reading it what i see at least what i see and this isn't a religious thing people believed your hands were laid on them and they received the holy ghost and yeah. guess what they put them down in water they didn't That's wait right. two or three years later yeah 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 people were yeah. baptized in the name of jesus christ it was yeah. in that order yeah so if I'm I, just yeah. following what I see in the scriptures. I'm just following the prompting, right. uh, prompting of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm about to go buy one of them little kid pools from Walmart. We're going to blow that thing up. And listen, the park that God led us to, ironically, it has a water spigot right in the park. Yeah, <laughs> and, he works for, and, he works for the, and he works for the city. So come he on. probably has that key in his car. I'll, I'll, tell you, for that. I'll find the water key. We're going to turn that thing on and fill that pool well, up. Well, <laughs> We'll go to, we'll go to home Depot and we'll get a key, but just honestly, just out of what I'm learning now with these guys, I'm the religious guy. These guys are more crazy than I am, but what I'm learning is just by stepping out in faith, you'll see the, so just by bringing a pool there, I'm expecting now God to do big things just by the act of faith. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's one guy, it's one guy. Um, I think it was Marshall, a cornerstone said, I prayed for a person not to jump off a bridge and, and by faith, I believe she did not jump because I prayed for. Her. So just that faith of the so prayer, I, he believes an angel was sent and, and pulled that girl off the bridge. He said, you know what? I don't care if it was or not, but I know God, God is pleased with me that my faith is that an angel brought her down. You know, he didn't see the angel, but he prayed and I, just by that stupid faith. So I can almost guarantee that. Amen. Oh, it's, you know, faith pleases God. That's all I'm saying. Somebody says, love, love the faith and hunger for souls. Sam says, Jeremy, Sam Beto says, Jeremy, don't feel bad. I'm always the religious yeah. guy in my squad. <laughs> oh, okay. And then uh, I'm he says, he said you could get a pool at Walmart. That's where we're looking into Walmart. We're yeah. going to get a little kiddie pool with some, some dinosaurs or something. <laughs> if it's real hot, I might get baptized myself again. <laughs> yeah. Well, praise God. And, and, and one more thing I would add, you know, being out there, this is why it's important to be in a secret place, saints. If you are going to go to a street, just another reason um, so that you stay full of God's word and Amen. full of his Holy Spirit and anointing. Because when you're out there and people walk up, you run into different types of people from you don't have time to prepare a sermon. You don't got time to look through notes and, 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 and read your Bible. The scripture says, right. preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season Amen. to correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. So Amen. when you out there in the field, you don't have time to figure things out and read your Bible. Hold on, brother. Let me go read the scriptures really quick. Go ahead. No, you I'm don't have you. time for that. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to work. You need to have the word and it needs to be in you already. You need to be the message. You need to be right. the gospel. I just want to encourage you guys. I want to ask you when, when Lazarus was raised from the dead, listen to what it says. And they, uh, people gathered around to see him when Jesus was at a house at his house. And it says those religious Pharisees, it says they wanted to kill Lazarus again because yeah. of him. Many believed on Jesus Christ. Mm. I want to say this is your life a witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ or is it a contradiction? Come on. Do amen, people amen. believe on the name of Jesus because of your life or do they stray because of your life? Mm, Our witness amen. matters in this. Our witness yeah. matters in what we do 
throughout the week, what we do in the secret place, that stuff matters, guys. It matters. Yeah, sure. That's right. Yeah, My yeah, wifey man. says, be ready in season and, and out of season. You know, yeah, yeah. Amen, and Jasmine. I, I, being full of the Holy Ghost, it, it goes along with um what Brother Gerard is saying. It's just like when you come across certain situations, who are you going to rely on? You ain't got, I ain't got time to, you know, pull out my Bible. You know, I might not have time to go grab one of the guys. You got to just, yeah. what the Bible says, you're the temple of the Holy Spirit. So what you do, you check in with the Holy Spirit. You notice in the book of Acts, it, when they spoke, they said, listen, it seemed good to us and the Holy Spirit. That's how intimate they were with him. They always included him. Don't call him a it. Many people say it. No, he him. That's he's a person. It is. That's the The Holy Spirit is Jesus. He's God. He has a mind, a will, and emotions. And when you're full of the Holy Spirit, you tap in. You could tap into that, you know. Yeah. And um, when you come across certain situations, you just wait. You relax yourself, and, and you just check in with the Holy Spirit. And I believe it was last week or the week before we we were talking about stillness. You know, that's that's where you start wow. to practice the presence of God. That's where you start to practice to hear, you know, His voice as well. So just another encouragement for those that are going out, learn to practice stillness. Stillness means you don't talk. You, you give God your list or whatever. You praise him. You worship him. You speak in tongues. And then you just sit there and just dwell and get soaked in his presence. And you, wow. and you, and you connect with his presence and That's you hear right. his voice. And at that moment, that means you're being filled with the Holy Spirit. Now what you got to do is you got to go and you got to pour out. Otherwise, you can get on the religious side. Would you say, oh, I'm so full of God. I'm full of his word. I'm full of his presence. Yeah. And then your neighbors are going to hell. Get out of here with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. you got to release. You got to release. Right. 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 Keep it Speaking of all, right. Jesus, Jesus was full when he got tempted by the devil. It said, you know, right here, I just turned to it. G, uh, Luke 4, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, even Jesus himself, half man, half a God, uh, uh, being the very nature of God. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he, he, he spent time knowing he was a human, you know, because Hebrew says he, he can relate with our suffering because he was right. a human. And that's why we can go confidently before the throne. He's even, it speaks a lot to me. I, you know, you got to think about it. Even Jesus full of the Holy spirit was led. And so even Jesus had to be full of the Holy spirit to face who in the desert, obviously. Right. right? Satan. Come on. Yep. Satan. So, and then, you know, that's, that's why Moses said to Moses said, I'm not going. No, no. G he was stubborn. He said, Jesus, no, I don't care if the chosen of Israel, if they made a golden calf, God, you have to go with us. No, I'm not going. I'm not going right. without you. So yeah, that that is very important. Honestly, personally, I wouldn't be able to get through these last couple of years or you know these transitions in my life for uh, for Christ being a better person if the Holy Spirit did not is not my refuge and my strength. And I don't think any of these guys through their issues would be able to get through. Jesus, uh, the Holy Spirit is actually he's not a liar. He actually is our strength and our refuge, right. our strong tie. He really, he really can bring you through when you, when you face the toughest times, there's a, there's an edge that he cuts off and he's like, you know what? I'm going to make it a little easier for you to get through this. He really, Holy well, spirit is really the edge cutter. He really is man. your strength. He is. And, and, and pray and, and try say it, this. pray and try it. I Without the Holy spirit, we're no different than the Pharisee. That's right. That's true. We're not. Without the Holy Ghost, we would be no fall. different than a, than a Pharisee. Without yeah. the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost that moves upon our hearts. It's the Holy Ghost that washes and regenerates our hearts, according to the word of God. It's the Holy Spirit that convicts us. He leads us. He guides us. It's the Holy yeah. Spirit that teaches us the word of God, because the word of God is in head knowledge. The word of God is spiritual. It's yeah. the Holy Ghost that teaches us these things. And here's another one. It's the Holy Ghost that helps me to obey That's the right. laws and commandments of God. It's the Holy Ghost that helps me to obey the word of God. Amen. Because without the Holy Spirit, without the power of the Holy Ghost, I can't please God. That's right. I can't, I can't restrain from doing the things that this flesh would want to do. It's the Holy Spirit that does those things for me. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Give him, a, says, give him a shot. Give him a shot. Always speaking, but are we listening? Amen. You know, I, I hear a lot of people, uh, wifey Jasmine says oh, that, you know, I hear a lot of people always say that you got to pray, 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 pray. When people tell me that's how you listening, though, like you can pray yeah. and go, la, ba, 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 shan, la, la, la. I do all that, too. But I'm, I'm like a, like what Brother Leonard Jones was saying, I believe last week or the week before he's learning it as a seasoned man of God, you know, 
that most of his prayer time is what in meditation and just waiting no. on the Lord and, and just point. connecting with his presence and listening because God wow. knows it all already. You know, God, God knows what I have to say already, but it's God true. is so awesome that he, he lets us get it out. You know, he lets us vent to him sometimes. And he says, OK, now, shh, listen, just relax. You know, like and like what I said uh, last week, I believe I just put on some instrumental music, some uh, some soaking instrumental music. No Look words, no nothing. I just want something real soft, real soothing, set the atmosphere. And I sit there and I just wait on the Lord and then I'm being filled. And that's where those are my best times in, in prayer. Wow. You know, I, I get real busy in my mind because I'm, I'm part of this flesh. And I'm pretty sure many people that, you know, watch, you get busy with ministry, with the family. I promise you, you have a, such a great time when you just get alone from everybody. Turn off your phone. Wow. Turn off Facebook. That's right. Don't talk yeah. to nobody. You know, don't talk to the Good spouse. Point. Don't talk to the children. Now's the time. That's right. I just want to be like Jesus did. He connected with the father. It's just me and you. And that's it. And I don't know. If the, I don't believe the Bible records it, but I, I can almost promise you by the spirit of God that Jesus didn't do a lot of talking in prayer. If he was praying for five hours, yep. I'm pretty sure he prayed for an hour and just listened most yep. of the time. And he was connected with God. And that's something we got to learn. That's why the Bible says, be swift to hear, slow to speak. Slow to speak. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come that's on. True, and, we, and, and we really tapped into that heavy last week. And, you know, Lou is so true, man, that that just even reminded me of today. And I laughed when you said it. You were like, every time I looked over there, you were laying hands on somebody. But you know what I did? A lot of the time, I wasn't even praying out loud yet. I was just listening to what the Holy Ghost wanted That's me it. to pray for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shut up. I didn't just rush in and start saying, oh, Father. No, 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 no. I put a hand on them and put one to the sky and submission true, true. and i true. waited to hear what the holy ghost wanted me to pray for those people Amen. right and that's it and then that i just true. began to pray for them and so many of them were so blessed just by the hearing what was coming out what was prayed for them because it was like many of them said oh my god that's exactly what i was going through oh my god that's exactly what i needed Amen. listen thank you, thank you, thank you, i can't know that i can't understand that what i did was i didn't rush in i waited and i Amen. paused to hear Amen. what holy ghost was saying yes, to yes. hear what he wanted me to pray for these people, because doesn't Amen. it say that he tells us, he shows us what we should pray. He, he teaches us how to pray. We don't always know what we ought to pray for. Otherwise mm -hmm. I'll be sitting there just making stuff up That's out right. of my mind, things that they really don't even need things that they're not even dealing with. So, you know, just listening to the Holy spirit in the secret place, but also if you're going to pray for somebody, if you're going to minister the word of God, there's nothing wrong with taking a pause and being quiet. And hearing what the Holy Spirit's saying. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that at all. Amen. Yeah, that's Amen. true. That's true. Yeah, that is true. I, I just wanted to encourage you, you know, the, the viewers that are watching now, you know, when you go out, just make sure you go out with like-minded believers, you know, make sure, because that could be a hindrance in the spirit. If you, like, if you go out with people that don't believe you can cast out demons, then I don't want you on my squad with me. I don't want you a part of the team. You got you to gotta back up with that. You know, even Jesus kicked out people that didn't believe. He kicked them out the room. When they ridiculed them, they made fun of him. Remember when the girl was dead? He said, she's not yeah. dead. She's sleeping. And they made fun of him. What did he do? Did he keep him in the room? He's like, get out of here. You know, and I believe even, even yeah. Paul did the same thing when he raised somebody from the day. He kicked them out the room. He learned that from Jesus. You know, yeah. so it's really important to, you know, be sure. just be around like minded individuals. And I want to say, you know, this this is in our first run on the streets. Like we used to do this. Well, I used to do this like back in. I probably had hundreds and thousands of houses, you know, um, I was yeah. in the inner city passing stuff out, but, you know, I got into a slump where I wasn't doing it for a few few years. So don't condemn yourself. Just get back to the secret place like these, what these brothers are saying. Connect with the heart of the father. And when you do, he'll say, listen, now it's time to go because Jesus is my son is coming back. My son don't even know the day. He don't know the hour. The angels oh. don't know. But I do. And if you're connected with me, what I'm telling you is people are going to hell. And, and right. I, I'm going to I'm going to hold you accountable because, you know, better you. I live inside yeah. of you and I'm telling you to go. What, what are you waiting for? Don't wait. Just if you if you're gonna wait, then come at my feet, and I'm gonna fill you up. And when you're filled, now go. Amen, amen, amen. And I, I'm getting something else. You got something, Jared? You wanna go? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just, I'm just, um, just, just like you said, I'm just, I'm just listening, listening. Well, what, one of the things amen. for me right now, and, and every time Lewis talks, I get another download. Praise God, Praise God. brothers God. are in unity. As I as I was just listening to him, one thing that I heard as we sit here, one thing that I'm reminded of is. It's also important to understand, guys, that everybody's not ready to receive salvation that you run into. Amen. Right. They're just not. Everybody's not ready to repent. Understand what the scripture says. It says, this is why it's also important to be in tune with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. One one plant, one waters, God gives the increase. Mm -hmm. You're not always going to reap the harvest right there on the spot. Now, today we uh, did. We did with over 10 people easily. We well. did this weekend with about close to 20 people easily. But here's the thing. 
who knows what seeds were planted in those people way before they came across us. Amen. True. Right. Who knows yes. what I'm saying is as I prayed for people to minister to people today, I didn't always feel the need to, you need to be saved right now. No, no. I did that with some because the Holy spirit prompted me to, but there were others. God showed me the Holy spirit led me. It's a time of planting. It's a Amen. time to be gentle right now. It's a time to just love them. It's a time to just hug on them right now. You can't, you can't think you, you're going to show you're running them down a the road. They running from you. Oh, you need it. Nah, bro. Listen, I'm not ready for that. Right. No, 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 no. Come just on. be sensitive to the Holy ghost. And he reminded Amen. me out there. One plants, one waters. Yes. God gives the increase. It has nothing yes. to do with me. It has nothing to do with Jeremy or Lewis. We're not no. that good at talkers. All right. Mm -hmm. It's about the Holy ghost. It's about, has their heart been prepared now? We ran across the ones whose hearts were prepared. And I thank God for that. Amen. I thank God for that harvest. But let us not underestimate the seeds that have been planted as well. Many seeds yeah. were planted last night. Many seeds were planted yeah. this morning. Amen. Somebody else is going to water and God's going to yes. get the increase. Right. Thanks. Amen. Right. So right. It's our job. It's our job. It's our duty. Just, just to throw the seeds out there, you know, like, like the parable of the sower. It's, it's not his job to uh, 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 make the green thing grow. You know, that's God's job. The Come God's on. the, the God's the ultimate chemist and scientist. It's our job mm -hmm. just to, just to, just to do the pre work for him, and, and then he makes it grow. So, that's but, right. but, uh, uh, so, people, and that's a, that's that's deeper than you, uh, 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 than you think, Gerard, because a lot it of is. people. It really, yeah, it really is. I give it, I'll give you a deep one. A lot of, a lot of people really take it personal. They're like, you know, you know, uh, um, when someone doesn't get saved or someone doesn't even understand a mess. So, so you know what, let me go, let me go a little even uh, more shallow. Forget about salvation. What if you're just trying to teach a Christian a principle and you're preaching on stage or, or you're preaching in a cl whatever, classroom or in a home group and uh -huh. you're so mad because they're not getting your message and they didn't raise their, raise their hand to say, do you agree? Do you want to start walking this way? That still is people, p pastors and teachers. I, I grew up in church my whole life. So I can say a couple of things, uh, a, a lot of different churches too, but people take it too personal. Don't take it personal. If right. you have a revelation about That's whatever right. tithing, if you have a revelation about joy or uh, uh, praising God to feature enemies, if you have a revelation, just calmly and peacefully tell somebody, Hey, you know what? As you praise your enemies, um, your enemies are defeated. You're enthroned Amen. in God and God on his throne, God crushes the enemies. What if that's a, uh, that's a mouthful right there. What if someone didn't get it the first time, maybe the oh second, third or fourth time, the fifth time, some of the, whoa, whoa, whoa. When I praise God, the devil hates it. God crushes the devil. I want to, so that's a bigger point than you think. It, people take it personally. Come on. You have to just throw some seeds out there, whether it's salvation or even talking to a baby Christian. You just Amen. be patient here, here, baby Christian or toddler Christian, toddler, whatever. I'm right. raw baby. <laughs> right. Here's a little, <laughs> here's a little, here's a little food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Junito Pabon. Yeah. I see you in here, brother Pablo. Edwin. Yeah. 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 What's Junito? Right. Mean? What's that? Junito. Nickname? That's my boy Edwin. The one we met up when we were praying. Oh, Junito. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was yeah. a bless. Um, I, I just want to acknowledge, you know, all the love we're getting in the comments. Man. Listen, saints, this doesn't go to our head. We keep ourselves humble. Um, but we also, Check. there's nothing. And, and I want to say this. There is nothing wrong with honoring men and women of God. Amen. You just don't want to glorify men and women. All glory Amen. goes to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All glory Amen. goes to God because he's the one that did it. But there's nothing wrong with honoring and encouraging each other. So we appreciate all of the encouragement that we're getting in here. Um, Amen. We love you guys. Uh, we would appreciate it if you guys would keep us in prayer. Um, we need that prayer, and we're going to need it moving forward because Satan is getting angry. We're tearing his head off. Brother Sam said, I think you guys are great. I uh, said man. his, said his wisdom. Beedo. Um Amen. Many people are saying, yo, I'm loving this. This is encouraging. We're getting so much love. So I appreciate you guys. Um, but, you know, this is what we should be doing anyways, and we should have been doing. We right. really his God has been called us to do this, but we all kind of at one point or another, like Lewis said, you know, fall up, fell off for a while and believe mm -hmm. the lie, you know, believe right. that nonsense. Um, you know, we we drive past the lost every day to go preach to people that have heard the message already. 
Uh, right. We give our we give our tithe in church, but won't give that man on the corner a dollar. Um, God, 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 God is not God is not pleased with that. Um, we can't. It's all about the loss. He came You're right. for Amen. the loss. That's right. For for oh, for some right. reason, it's it's coming to me. You know what what I preached last night at Open Door Mission. He says I came not to call the righteous, but the sinner. Sinners, but the sinner to repentance. But the Bible says all are sinners. Mm. Everybody's a sinner. So why would he categorize these people as sinners? It's because mm. of this. He came to call those that know that they're sinners. Amen. He came to call those that know that they need salvation, to know that they need saving. There are some that say they have no sin. There are some that don't believe that they need a savior. There are some that think they're righteous. I have no righteousness in me. The only righteousness that I have has been provided for me Jesus. through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 He I came see. to call sinners, the ones that know that they are a sinner, the ones that know they need a savior. Hey. Amen. 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 You got something to go ahead. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just engaging with the people with Bob James. He says, I was witnessed for years before I got saved. Like people were witnessing to him. He said wow. for years before he got saved, brother, Bob. He said, brother Eric Cortez, he said, keep up God's work brothers. Um, and now I was just remember that one, that one gentleman that we gave the hot dog to. And we said, oh, do you need, cause we were talking about people that reject, you know, the gospel sometimes and you don't want to shove it down their throat. Remember that one gentleman we gave the hot dog to, and I don't know if you or Jeremy said, you want prayer? And he was like, no, or he's in a rush or he got to go. Yep. He has yep. to leave. We didn't say, yo, give, give me the hot dog back then. Like, you know what I mean? We just we just loved on them. And we just said, okay, like, we understand. You know what I mean? Like, it just showing the love of Christ, sowing the seed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. Get, at the end of the day, if somebody, if, if you refuse us, you refuse God. Because I, I ain't there for myself. I'm, well, you know, we're, yeah, we're yeah. there for Christ. <laughs> yes, and that's man. how you shake, the, you shake the dust off. And, and that's it. You, you keep it moving. Oh, no, he kept the hot dog. It was a beef hot dog. too. nice one. Yeah, it was beef. It wasn't pork. Jasmine, <laughs> Jasmine, Jasmine's No laughing. pork hot dogs. But you know what? That would have been messed up, right? If we used to be like, "Well, you don't want no prayer in a hot dog bag." What you mean? Like, <laughs> I think we need to check. Well, I think we, I think we need to be some, rebuked if we did that. Right. I think sometimes, like honestly, you want to go, you want to go real faith, and you and you want to go sovereign God. Yeah. If mm -hmm. we didn't mention, if we didn't mention the name of Christ and we did it in His name, I bet you He would still move. That's how sovereign He is. If knowing that He was, knowing that we didn't do it in shame or being ashamed. Um, if we went there just out of love and just said, Lord, if you open a door, you know, a lot of times they asked us and they opened the door, right? Bernard? They said, yep. why are you doing this? They right. did. Honestly, so they were, I, I don't I understand you, what you're doing this for. I, I bet you if we went there and didn't say a word, half the people would have asked us anyway to give yep. us a door. So, yep. you know, you know, you know, you do, you don't even have to try. That's, that's good, Jeremy. That's because, good. Because that's how sovereign God is. He see, he knows our hearts. And he knows, uh, um, he knows the will of the father. He knows, wow. He knows what we're trying to accomplish. So, um, and you know why that is brother, you know why that is, why me, they asked that question? Because we were, love. we were, be we were being the children of God instead of Amen. talking Amen. about yeah, it. That's right. right. Many, right. many, so many people, gotta say, yep. Yeah, many yeah, people, agree, agree. many people talk about, about the child of God, but they're not focused on being the child of God. And Amen. when you are the child of God, you're different from the world. We were being the salt and the light today. Um, right. and, and, and people were confused. They didn't know what was going on. And I guarantee you, this just dropped in my spirit. There were many people today that didn't know how they were going to eat. I'm telling you, Amen. a Amen. lot of those, a lot of those people today had no clue no, how they were, were going to eat. Yeah, they, yeah. I seen, I well, seen well. people, I seen people pulling up with their kids. They didn't know how Jesus. they were going to eat. And I'm yep. telling you, they were coming over there awesome. and the kids were getting food. Everybody was eating and they're like, listen, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you God. so much. Praise God. That alone right there is a witness because I guarantee you a lot of sure I'm, getting this, I'm getting this from the Holy Spirit right now. I promise Come on. you. Come on. Those I'm, I'm people were in you. the car praying, saying, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to feed my child. Wow. Today. Amen. And they drove by and they saw that sign that said free hot dogs. Amen. I'm telling you. Praise God. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and listen, it wasn't even that expensive, guys. We went with our own money. We bought a bunch of hot dogs. We bought Amen. some chips. We bought some water. I grilled them up this morning. And we ran mm -hmm. out there and we just moved. I didn't even know if anybody, we didn't even know if somebody was going to come. We didn't even know if people were going to yeah, want them. Person, yeah. I promise Go. you, they came. Yeah, 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 they awesome. came, they wanted them. I guarantee you, I'm telling you, I'm getting this. A lot of those people had no clue how they were going to eat. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And you know, one thing that I um, was thinking about the way there is like, we were handing out one and like, even on the way home, like, you know what, we should have gave out two or three that just fill these people up, you know? So, yeah. but- 
but really a shout out again to Sam and his, and his mom, America. They do this a lot. Yeah. And, praise um, God. And they're Brother really David. Uh, praise God. Yeah. yeah. God's really, God, God's pleased with them. And we're just, you know, Lou's been doing this for a long time. I'm just starting this. It's a whole new excitement for me. That's you right. Know? So, um, but, you know, shout out to them, but like, you know, we're not going to be stingy either, you know, not, not, not that we were on purpose, but, um, but I think we gave a couple of guys, two or three, the, yeah, guy yeah. At the, corner, the guy at the corner who was making money, you know, you know, the, the, swindler, yeah, yeah. the, the, the mm -hmm. swindler at the corner with a sign, <laughs> he had about seven hot dogs, right? Just passing was, them out. <laughs> you know, he, he was, he was, that, listen, no, listen, I will testify this. Mm -hmm. I did not see him shriek or fall on the ground, but something was released out Amen. of him. His neck was like this for the first part of the day. And he his stood up. Down. He stood up straight. And his, I thought, honestly, I was going to ask him if he was blind. I thought, because at first he was doing this, he wasn't opening. Um, a half an hour later, his back was straight. His eyes were like this, right? Whole Luke? face changed. His whole countenance his whole, was lit up. He's, yeah, he's yeah. walking up and down the street, yeah. panhandling for money with a new spirit. He was handing out hot dogs. He was like, Don't tell me he wasn't delivered. Yeah. It Don't was tell like, me that wasn't a miracle. It was like you know he what? was now, bent over. You're right. He yeah. was bent over. His eyes were 90% shut. And you know what? God downloaded to me on the way home. I, I didn't tell you guys just yet. Though, but we're going to be going there every week, hopefully. You know, maybe miss here and there. Um, and that'll give us a chance to even disciple those people in the area. That's no, right. for sure. Because, because what it's about. if you just hand out food, they're going to get Come hungry on. again. If you just hand out Jesus, they're going to get what? They're going to get hungry again. Come on. That was just a download right there. It was a, uh, that was a real time download. If you're going to give them food, they're going to get hungry again. If you're going to give them Jesus, the devil's going to steal that seed. So by going every week, um, it's going to keep them accountable because they are going to come back. And you know, what I think we should do. We got to start getting Bibles to hand out. I was going to say Bibles Amen. and we should, get some, we should get some phone numbers and do like a big mass text. Like That's right. it, honestly, we got a couple of numbers today, yeah, we definitely. but like Jose, my man, Jose, who, who just got out of jail, I wanted mm -hmm. his number. Um, but you know we're learning. That's right. Well, I just want to say, uh, Gideon or the Gideon Jake. He said, "Love you guys. We love you too, bro." He said, "Watch it from uh, Uganda here." So, wow. oh wow, praise he's, God. He's tapped in, you know, praise God. Uganda. Yo, oh, Uganda. I, if you guys look in the um, I pinned the, in the comment section. I just pinned the um, the Zoom, the ID. Oh, you know, okay. if you want to tap into the Zoom, you know, it's open for prayer. If you if you want prayer, and um, if you have a question, you know, that's it. Prayer and a question. Right, and that's it. That, that, that's what it's for. It's mainly for prayer. You know, if you want prayer, you jump into the Zoom and we, we want to pray for you and then just release you. And then somebody else could jump in and we just we want to pray for you. If the Lord gives us a word, you know, we'll release the word. We're not going to force it. Amen. Praise God. Praise oh, God. Man. No, no, it, it, it was encouraging to. to yeah, no, it to, really was. It was that encouraging. guy was healed. That guy. I'm not sure what what you saw, Gerard. I saw two healings today. Uh, yeah. Honestly. No, one there was girl, more than there was more than two. Go ahead. I'm going to tell you. There one, was one girl, one girl looked wrecked. The guy said, I don't want the guy who she came with said, I don't want none of that. So the girl came right to me. I gave her a hot dog. She sanitized her hands. No idea. They love doing that. That's okay. She, I grabbed her hand. We started praying. She said, she repeated after me. She said, Satan, get out of my temple. Come on. She, said, yes, she, she, she repeated five or six times. I am a child. I am a daughter. I am your daughter. I am your daughter. She mm -hmm. accepted Christ. And she said, she admitted, she said, I want out of this addiction. Mm -hmm. And I can, I can guarantee you her eyes went from, from darkness to light. I saw it in her eyes and I told her, I said, now it's up to you. You are healed right now. Now yep. go do the right, what do you now do? go do the right thing. I, I no saw more. two, I saw two healings. And the other guy was, um, was the guy at the corner that we prayed for at first. He, he stood up straight, his eyes opened up and all That's he nice. was, did you notice him smiling all day? Yeah. Yeah. Smiling. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, yeah. You, but you know what? The guy, the mm -hmm. guy that was with, I know exactly who you're talking about. The guy that was with that lady, the, the yeah. Lord led me over to that guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. He didn't want and to do that. He wanted... No, he, yes, he did. No, no. I, at I, first, at what well, first? At first. And I asked him, I said, brother, I said, do you know Christ? And he says, yeah. I said, I find that hard to believe. And he said, why? I said, what do you, he, he didn't just come to save us from the consequences of sin. He came to save us from sin. Amen. I asked him, I said, what are you saved from? And as we began to talk and as we began to build, he says, you know what? He says, I need to be set free. Mm. That's what and he ended up saying. He says, I need I to be set free. I, I prayed for him. for him. And then I stopped. 
I stopped and I was quiet. And guess what? He started to pray. Oh, hallelujah. Wow. And he Amen. began to ask God. He says, wow. Lord, I need you to deliver me. I didn't even tell him to say this. He said, Lord, I need you to deliver me. Hallelujah. Wow. I need you to Thank set you, me free. I need Thank you to pull me out of this mess. I don't mm -hmm. want to be in this mess anymore. He began to do that on his own. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. After well, I was probably praying, had a seat. I just shut up. Let's go back to that. He probably was seated a bunch of times in his life. He probably went to church. He got messed up. He's in the streets. They're on drugs. You know, you could tell yep. they're on drugs because I pray for a guy. And, 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 and at first I was nervous, man, because like, I'm not from the street. So it was like, so this, uh, hopefully this encourages people. I'm not from the street. So I had a guy come up to me, scars everywhere, you know, like scars, you, you know, drugs, you know, yeah. um, I work in the city every day. I'm not sheltered. I work in the city every day. I work in the suburbs. Um, I talk to everybody, but witnessing one-on-one -on -one is different. You, you know, the devil lies to you. So it's a different I grab, hit. Right. I grabbed this guy's arm. I said, let me, I said, so, you know, the boldness, like, you know, what Lewis was talking about That's of right. acts, the boldness mm -hmm. and acts um, came over me. I said, I want to pray for you. I don't care how you think I am. So I pray for him. And, and honestly, God gave him, I'm not done with you yet. I am not done with you yet. And, you know, and God, like Gerard said, listen, I'm not used to this man for real, but I started praying real quick. Cause I was nervous. And then God said, shut up. And I really, I was like, and I said, Lord, what? And God, and God, for real, it was, there was miracles. People came in off the streets for real. It, was rough. Right. it was rough. You no, know, like what, like what our brother Jeremy is saying, don't matter if you come, if you come from the suburbs your whole life, don't matter if you come yeah, from the real. hood. Thank I you, mean, Jesus. I had a combination of both grew up in the inner city, you know, spent a little time in the suburbs. Um, the, the main point is what did they tell uh, Peter and John? They said, we could tell that they, these, these men been spending mm -hmm. time with Jesus. Right, Why? Right. Because of their boldness. You know, so the word of God shows you that when you spend time with the Lord Jesus Christ at his feet and, and you're connected with the Lord, there's a boldness that comes upon you from the Holy Amen. Spirit. It's something that you can't work up yourself. This is something you can't just say, Lord, give me. You, yeah, you can say, Lord, give me boldness, but you got to, you know, get at his feet, get into the word. Let faith arise in you. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word, mm, of, God. word of God. So Amen. as you're spending time in the, in, in the word of God, Jesus is the word. And what, what happens? There's an impartation that takes place of boldness. You know, so when yeah. you when you go to these wow. streets, it's not you no more. You know, the boldness of the Holy Ghost comes yeah. upon you. We have the Holy Ghost in us, but when he comes upon us, that's for service. And when wow. he comes upon you, you don't mm. speak the same no more. You can't just be like, Yeah, Jesus loves you. Mm. Like, you know, no, Jesus loves you. You speak Good with word. passion, you, you you speak with boldness, and you're like, wait a minute, I normally don't talk like this, but when the anointing is upon, upon you, you, upon you're operating you. differently now. Wow. Yeah. No, no, Amen. you know what? Let me interject one one and the, and the drawers gonna kill me, but David wants no. to tap in. When you said upon you, Amen. when when was Samson strong? When the Holy Spirit was upon him, Samson became so that's come that's on, a that's huge, right. Um, for real, you, you you know what it is, Jared, and, and and you know, and we shouldn't be word, shocked at this, but Amen. it's good to, it's good to see it in action. Sometimes sometimes we don't think that sometimes we don't think that Jesus is enough, mm, right? Come on, and we have to understand that Jesus is enough. Amen. So what we do is we deceive ourselves into thinking that. We got to offer everybody everything except for Christ or or that there's a different gospel to reach different types of mm, people. Right. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. The gospel is the same. There's one gospel. I don't care if you're talking to a murderer or a, murderer or a drug addict or a rapist or a liar or oh, a glutton. The nice. gospel is the same. Amen. And it's designed to reach everybody. Amen. There's no different gospel. That's why it drives me crazy where people say, oh, well, I wasn't called to reach those type of people. You're a liar. Amen. That's not even biblical. There's one right. gospel. That was There's one gospel for everybody. Before we tap in with Brother David, I just want to read hey, one one comment here. This is so encouraging for my sister from Candace. I believe she's in Trinidad. She says, I'm always blessed to be on here. I never leave empty. May God continue to pour Lord into God. your vessels as you make yourself available for the master's use. God bless you guys and favor be upon you. I receive sister, it. I receive we appreciate it. Amen. You. God bless you. I receive that. Amen. Brother Amen. David, praise hey, God. God. Dave. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? Y'all hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. All right, awesome. Forgive that little tracker, man. The camera's brand new, so I've never set it up for live yet. Nah, man, <laughs> okay. I like the background, bro. Appreciate it, man. One of my lights are also. Um, listen, no, I just wanted to encourage you guys, man. Um, I am blessed by what y'all doing. Um, hitting the streets like that. Um, I think that it's a line, uh, a long time coming to see other people joining what God is doing. 
Um, so I know like brother Lewis said that um, he's been doing it. He already did it before and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. But I like what you guys said earlier that you guys are leaving the church. You know what I'm saying? So basically mm -hmm. like, like you guys are about to hit the streets. You're about to meet them where the need is. Cause for how long mm -hmm. is it that we see each other at the church and nothing is changing. It's pre we're right. pretty much feeding the same people over and over again that are really full. So it becomes like a spiritual. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. You know I mean? Good one. So, yes, good. So, to, so to see you guys go out to hit the streets and, and with no fear, regardless of your Tim, you know, whether you're timid or not, you guys are hitting these streets and you guys are saying, you know what, God, whether I can speak well or whether I can uh, uh, read, know my Bible completely well, it doesn't matter. I'm trusting that the Holy Spirit is going to go ahead and move. Uh, and it's going to allow me to minister to people. And I trust that you are going to give me the words to say and the things to do. And you're also on top of that. I think one of the biggest fears that Christians have is being able to see miracle signs and wonders. Um, we have a tendency of kind of getting scared of, of whether what the outcome is. But one thing that I learned, I'll say that I learned this from the meeting that we had this weekend, um, which mm -hmm. I, I, it changed my life forever between um, being at these services and also being in, in Buffalo is that things might not happen right away, but your prayer will still do an effect, right? So we saw, we saw the gentleman that came in that had three strokes, right? Every day was new progress. He went from losing pain in his hand, finally, to the next day walking, to being able to use the bathroom on his own. We got rid of the wheelchair. The next day, he was able to say, when he started saying the, the name Jesus, his speech started to get more clear than when he first came mm. in. Because at first I had to look at his wife and be like, what is he saying? Right. As a matter of fact, Gerard, the, the gentleman that your, your nephew yeah. was talking for. Yeah, he mm -hmm. pulled you know, him right up. Yep. Yeah, I, I couldn't understand what he was saying. And all of a sudden, wow. by the third oh, night, yeah. he started saying Jesus. And then mm. I was able to hold a conversation with him. You know? and, or you have the, like like the, um like Rose. Rose, literally in one day, Pastor Erica prayed for her heart. Uh, me and me and some people prayed for her healing. She got right out the wheelchair. So we got to see two different forms of miracles happen. Um, but I learned that it doesn't matter whether we see it right away or not. Our faith needs to be intact. We cannot allow the weeds of doubt get into the, our mercy, our muster seed. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want to build out. on some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I want to, oh. I want to build on some of that. Go for something, it, something you said was like super powerful right at the beginning. Um, you talked about people think that because they're not good speakers or they don't trust the Holy ghost. I think it's because a lot of us is, are not, we're, we're somewhat gospel ignorant. I don't think we understand what the gospel really is. It's not about how good I can talk. It's about, is the Holy Spirit moving behind the words mm. that I'm saying? Because what we don't realize is mm. it's up to God to do it. We just deliver the message. He just uses us as vessels. So it's not about how great that me or Lewis or Jeremy is, or you is. It's about the Holy Spirit moving behind what we're saying. And here's a verse right. that we skip over, but we quoted a lot here, but here it says, it says, and I, and I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency, uh, excellency of speech or of wisdom, I declaring see. unto you the testimony of God, for I determined not to know anything except for Christ and him crucified. crucified. That's mm -hmm. the key right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, every time we minister at the open door mission, ask Lewis, we have the same message. I don't That's go right. there trying to teach them about things that they're no. not going to understand. Yeah, exactly. A carnal man cannot understand spiritual right. things. Nope. Yes. I go there to preach the gospel, not to teach them. I cannot teach yeah. them spiritual things because they cannot understand it. Right. Amen. Amen. We go and we preach Christ and him crucified. crucified. And every single time yeah. men respond, there's fruit of repentance every time we go. Amen. That's how That's I right. knew oh, yeah. it would be the same on the streets. When you go and you preach the gospel, when you preach Christ and him crucified, like Jeremy said earlier, if he be lifted up, he will draw men unto him. But what Amen. we do is we tend to glorify ourselves sometimes. We begin to glorify everything. Everybody is set for Jesus. If we just give God the glory and Christ the glory, he Amen. will do the work. He will Amen. confirm his word with Amen. miracle signs. That's what and I was wonders. about to say. He will confirm his word with healings, deliverance, and real repentance. Yes. Amen. Right. That's what I was just about to say. Is like, you know, like what Brother Jeremiah said, we just, you know, we speak the gospel and then the Lord confirms the word, you know, with signs and wonders. The Holy Ghost will just start to minister to you. If you give him room, he'll show you this one right here is about to kill himself today. He's had suicidal thoughts. Yeah, you know, he told me that. You just know it's not your flesh. Like a little quick testimony. I wanted, like, I'm half Puerto Rican, so you know, I I know how to um, I, I can understand more than I could speak. So I, I told this one guy, I said, "Can you translate for me?" So when as I'm telling him to translate, all of a sudden I just start to flow 
and speaking Spanish. And I'm like, dang, I felt bad that I told him to help me because now I'm, I'm starting to flow now. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like and as I'm talking, I'm like, yo, where's this coming from? And, yeah. and I said, tú estás pensando about suicide. You're thinking about like killing yourself. And like, and I, I could just see it strongly on him, you know, because mm. after, after the service was over, we just sat there in the presence of God. He just kept getting highlighted to me. And I just, yeah. the Holy Spirit said, he's about to, he wants to kill himself. Yeah, so oh, I went up and I said, I said, you're not a loser. God says, you're not a loser. I don't care what nobody said about you. Oh, you look like a thug too, real big dude. He looked like a G'd out. Yeah, yeah, uh, but I'm he like, broke, broke down. He broke down. Broke down. He started breaking yep. down. Yep. Like you, you yep. cause the guy, I said, don't, yep. I said, God says, you know, that's the devil. Jesus would never tell you to do that. And I said, God yeah. loves you. Laid hands on him, prayed for him. And, you know, praise the Lord. Just, just let him know that, you know, God is thinking about you. He, he loves you. That's not the way out. Yeah, that's the dope, that's the dope thing about the Holy Spirit, man. Um, is that, the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you at the proper time. Mm. But like you guys said earlier, you have to learn to listen. You have yeah. to learn Come on. to yeah. recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. Um, that's another thing that I learned, man. Like when Rose gave her testimony, one thing that stood out to me and ministered to me, and I said this to my pastor, was when she said, most people would pray for my physical um, healing, but you prayed for my heart. You knew that my heart was broken. Yeah. Mm. And after I heard that, it changed my prayer. So before I started just hipping and hollering about, oh, be healed in the name of Jesus. That's right. Come on. I, Come on. I, went, I went into Holy Spirit reveal to me what needs to be prayed. Mm-hmm. So that's what I believe. And that's important. Like what the Bible talks about, where it says that to uh, to to, you know, to pray by the spirit. You know, mm-hmm. you, you, and I, you and I cannot pray. We don't know the right words to pray. We don't Listen. know because all we're going to do is literally pray about ourselves, pray about our family. Uh, and, and so we need the guidance of the Holy Spirit to be like, Holy Spirit revealed to me what needs to be prayed and how to pray it. And you know why that is, brother? You know why many can't receive healing? Why do you think it is when Jesus didn't even tell everybody to be healed? He just said, your sins are forgiven you. And they got up and walked. Yes, sir. Mm, some, hard, people, yep. listen, <laughs> some people have that condemnation on them and they think they deserve what they're in. Right. But they don't understand. That's why I told the one brother on the bike that Jeremy was talking about. I told him, I just felt strongly. I said, listen to me. No more condemnation. I said, stop beating yourself up for what you did. That's right. He was already beat up for what you did. Mm-hmm. God mm-hmm. broke him. God poured out his wrath and tore him apart for you. There is no more condemnation. You're free. And it looks are deceiving. Because we had one brother pull up. He looked like he had it all together. He pulled up in his nice BMW truck. You remember the dude? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, listen, he was Ryan. Listen, but he came (laughs) over. That man was so broken. He told me, I began to share my testimony of when I first came to Christ because I was in the streets and in and out of jail and I was getting high and I was about to kill myself. And I began to share that with him. And he told me, he says, yo, you know, I I was thinking about suicide. Mm -hmm. He said, I've been thinking about killing myself. And the brother, the brother got saved. He got saved right there on the spot Amen. before That's he it. left. And I'm talking about, he looked like he, listen, one of the nicest cars I ever seen. He looked like he had it all together, but see that stuff doesn't mean anything. At all. If you, people say, Oh, well, you got everything, brother. You just need Jesus. That's a lie from hell. If you ain't got Jesus, you ain't That's got right. nothing. I don't care Mom. if you're a billionaire. I've heard of testimonies um, where a homeless person will minister. To somebody mm. like us, come on. Yeah. Where we think we have it together, we we know scripture, we uh, we go to church, and we follow the the regular religious ways, the routine that we, we tend to get into. And a homeless person can come up to you, be full of joy, regardless put you, of circumstances. Put you to and shame. You a word exactly. We'll, we'll give yeah, you a yeah. word got. And that's what that's, I mean, the Bible tells us that sometimes that you know the angels will entertain us. Like we just don't yeah. know. Yeah, we don't right. know. You know, we're, we're probably looking at. We're probably looking at somebody walk by us and be like, man, this dude look jacked up, but right. they got more Jesus in them than we do. I'm but trying you, to tell you. You know, right. you know what? Um, but you know, God revealed to me a couple of days ago. Mm. It might rock, it might rock some pastors and, and, and people think that we got to be trained for 20 years. God showed me it doesn't matter how many people are under you. We all have one common thing above us. One Come God on, is say above that. us. Say it, it again. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. I'm going to say that. It doesn't matter. No, no. Honestly, it, it doesn't matter if you're a pastor of 5,000. Say it again. It doesn't matter if you're a pastor. Of, am I stuttering right now? Louder. I, oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I thought I got that sentence out pretty clearly. No, 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 no. because it's, it's good. They need to no. hear it again. Oh, no, no. Honestly, you know, I was walking. I was meditating and God showed me. I'll say it one more time. God showed me. It doesn't matter who's under you. We all mm-hmm. 
just like Saul was, was throwing out murderous threats and he was dragging people out of houses. He preached the next day. Yes. They didn't accept him at first because they were scared right. crapless for him, mm -hmm. but yeah. um, they, they didn't accept him. But immediately when he accepted Christ and got baptized, he had the same God over him, no matter uh -huh. if Amen. Barnabas and the disciples had thousands of disciples over here, hundreds over here. Saul had the same God above him. So all these big headed right. pastors, which there are some big headed pastors out there. It doesn't matter how many people you have under you. We all had the same God over us. Amen. Honestly, the same Holy spirit talks to me. If I'm in my secret place, he'll talk to me. Like he talks to you with, with honor and respect for what you've done in your life. We're, we're all in the same playing field. Jesus did that. He pissed Pharisees off. He did that. We're all in the same playing mm -hmm. field. Right. You've done a lot more than me. Yes. In your life, you have many more crowns in heaven, but we still have the same Holy spirit. Amen. And That's you right. know what, Jerry In Galatians, he even said that the apostle Paul said that oh. by the Holy spirit, he says, I did not go and confer with flesh and blood with those that were apostles before me. I know that God called me and I know what he told me to do. Mm -hmm. I don't need permission from anybody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be right. obedient you, to what God called me yes, to do. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Right. With honor and respect. Yes. Sure. Right. Yeah, sure. And that's, I mean, again, one of those things where the scripture tells us, man, get away from me. Well, get away from me. I never knew you. I, that's right. I, I don't yeah. ever want to be in that position. Amen. You know? Amen. You never that's want to be wrong. in that position. Right. That's the one yeah. scary spot that we, we can go out there and say, do, say and do things in the name of Jesus. And he was like, do I never knew you? Your heart's yeah. your heart from me. Like you, you, you never Come did on. anything that was, that was pleasing to me inside of you. You know, right. um, and like the uh, I remember um, John, the one the one that also went and testified. I remember telling me he looked at that when he got healed, he looked at me, said, dude, what did you do? Hmm. I said, ah, yo, man, you should know how big my ah, no, 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 no. That wasn't right. me, bro. Come on. I'm, not, right. I'm a messy, bro. I'm a messy dude, bro. He goes, God, God did that. I have That's no right. power in me. I have nothing in me. This is all God. And there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing yeah. in me. You know what I mean? So we have to be humbled every day. We have to be. um we have to be humbled every day. We have to yeah. be in his presence every day. Uh, Cause I can tell you, I know when I'm, I'm away from God. I know when That's I'm right. falling away. Good work. Good I mean, work. My, my, I get messy. I get, I get, you know, messy, moody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's one of those things where you just start to see the flesh really start to peek his head. Um, so it's important that we do that. And um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make room for somebody else to get on here, but um, you know, one thing I wanted to share that's very important when we hit the streets and I learned this, um, when we were in Buffalo, cause it, brother Sam could tell you I was in tears. Um, I, I felt led to give this one woman a hug. I gave her a hug and I said, man, God loves you. I love you. And she looked at me, she said, yeah, I know God loves me, but man, wh why does it take a massacre for people to show that they love us? Why, why mm -hmm. can't people on, say that? Day, you know, say say that. Why, why can't people be here every day to that's love true. us? Right. And, and shows that they care every day. And, you know, I was at peace with the fact that, you know, like you guys know, this is what we do, man. We hit the streets, we, you know, wherever, if we get a phone call, say, listen, man, we need food, man. We're bringing a, a truckload over there. That's what we do. Oh, and, you know, and I, and I think brother Sam, uh, Pastor Sam for, for reminding me of that. Uh, but I was grieved because it's true, man. Like, yo, there's so many churches, so many, many, many churches, but more hurting people, mm, right? you know, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I invited somebody to come out and, and minister with us, bro. This is your city. And mm. oh man, we just got out of revival, man. I gotta go home. What the heck? Right. You got out of revival. Like, why, why are you going home? Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to bring that fire with you. That's right. That's because he was at the revival. Don't mean he was revived. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, man, so that's why I love about mm -hmm. this prayer. This is why I love seeing what y'all doing, man. Because man, we from what I'm seeing is the revival meeting is igniting fires, not mm. us. Not Pastor Doyle, not Pastor Paul, nobody. God mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit is using the Holy Spirit to ignite fires, and mm -hmm. what, and what's going to happen, man? I'm telling you, man. I, I'm I'm honored. I'm humbled that God is using um, Western New York, Central New York, just just Amen. this side of the earth to to change the world. Yes. He's going to do it, man. And yes, I'm excited for you guys. I'm, I'm I want to join you guys one of these days out there. And Ooh. man, I just, let's just Praise do it. So that's right. Out, I'm gonna get out the way so if somebody else can come in, hop in here. Oh. And bless. Well, let, let us let us bless you out. Let us bless you out before you are swerve out of here. All right. So, God. Father, in Jesus name, we just yes, we just Lord. thank you for Brother David for tapping in with us. Yes, Lord yes, God, we Lord. just thank pray your God. mighty hands continue to be yes, upon Lord. him. We pray, Lord God, that faith yes, may continue to arise in him. Lord, yes, we pray Lord. that as he delights himself in you, may you give him every desire of his heart, Lord God, and that he may just yes. be led by your spirit as he just goes to the secret place, Lord God. 
May you give him dreams, even yes. at nighttime, even tonight, Lord, may you give him dreams. May yes, you give him visions. May you provide all of his need according to your riches and glory. We cancel every assignment of the enemy yes. over his life. Yes, we break Lord. every curse that anybody has spoken yes, over him or his family. We break that curse now in Jesus name. And yes, we pray that he may continue to be a mighty soul winner and have a burden for souls because it's not yes. your will that any yes, shall perish, but that all come to repentance. Oh God. So may you open up new doors for him that no one can shut. Oh God. And may yes, you just give him favor as he obeys your word, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 God hey, bless, hey, bro. Uh, Much love. Brother David, um, God called you to be the head and not to tell. Um, you're better than what you think. He placed more in you than what you think. There's a lot more in you than what you think. Amen. And I think as you seek him on that, he's going to blow your mind, brother. He Amen. wants to Amen. use you more than what you think. God Amen. bless you, man. We appreciate Lord you. God. Thank you. Amen. God bless. Have sir, a good night. Sir. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I think I think one of the things that I just heard out of him that that, that really just really, really bothered me at what he said. And it's so true is that tragedy. there's all these churches around. Well, here's the problem. Hmm. And I kept answering this question today. People kept saying, what church do you go to? What church do you go right. to? Why does that matter? I right? said no. we I said we are the church. Right. I, said, yeah, and I yeah. told him, I said, God is not coming back for a thousand different churches. He's coming uh -huh. back for one body. The church, okay. again, it is not the building. It is us, the people. I said, we are the church. I said, we're having church out here with you today, right now. This yeah, is man. the church I go to. Wherever yeah. we are, wherever the believers are, yeah. that's the church that we go to. Praise God. Yeah, it's true. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Can we just go wait around? Like I said, I'm the, if you look in the comment section, it's pinned still. Um, gonna stay on for a little bit longer just you know if you want prayer just jump in or you if you don't if you don't have access to zoom just leave your uh, prayer request in the face facebook comment section yep praise god i'd love to pray for you and like i said we all like there's some um, sometimes people on um, this they hit us in the inbox or they leave a um after i post this they leave a comment and they say oh can you pray for this and that you better believe we, we always pray for that you yes know? sir i know yeah. i do you know and yes, we, sir. a lot of times we pray together so. You know, we were we were talking on, on the way home that what we did today and what even Brother David does, not, we're not downplaying us or them, but it's not extraordinary what we're doing. The Bible doesn't talk about like if you have time and if you can make it in your schedule and you can sacrifice. He doesn't make it. He doesn't make it like a crown in heaven. This is our duty. This is not like something where, 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 where God looks down and says, you know, when you get to heaven, you're going to get a crown for going out and witnessing. God says, go out in all the world, preach to God, go do it. And there's a, right. what, what about that story in the Bible where he says, is it special that if I tell my servant to go pick some wheat, uh, some wheat and serve me and That's then right. clear my table and then he eats after me, is it weird to tell my servant to do what he's supposed to do. Come and that on, last, man. that last verse says he's only doing what he should. It's right here. Right. In, uh, yeah, Luke, yeah. Luke, Luke 17. Go Luke, ahead. Read Luke, it. Luke 17 verse, um, verse 10. So you also, when you have done everything you were told to do, should say we are unworthy servants. We're only doing our duty. That's it. That's, That's it. like, so honest, I'm not honest. downplaying anybody. Um, no, Erica and them uh, and us, we're doing our duty. This is not extraordinary. Amen. Extraordinary Amen. may be other things we can mention. Um, yeah. Extraordinary could be selling our houses, um, uh, giving to the poor. I mean, that's that's faith. But this, what we're doing, and I honestly, believe it's my it's my opinion according to the Bible. Maybe I'm a little off. Tell me, tell me, is it our duty or is it or is it duty? No, no, it's, it's, it's our reason. It, the Bible refers to it as our reasonable service. That's right. Um, that's like me. That's like me expecting my wife and my kids to pat me on the back every day for going to work and provide. Right. Amen. That's good. my job. Good. Right. Good point. Good point. I'm, I'm a husband and I'm, I'm a father. So if I'm a child of God, if I'm a disciple of Christ, if I'm a believer, it should not, it should not be extraordinary me extraordinary for me to imitate christ right and do what he did and walk where he walked and and, and, and for right. me to but the problem is we we, we we throw the title believer around too loosely 
Uh, uh, we throw Christian around too loosely. I don't care what you say you are. What fruit is there? Is right. there fruit? Can we tell? Is there a difference between you and the world? Do you put a difference between holy and unholy? Do you care about the things that God cares about? Are you willing to deny yourself? Listen, I was tired today. It was hot. I've been getting attacked all week. Listen, if I listened to my flesh, I would have stayed home and sat up under the fan or the air conditioner. But no, 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 right. no. God said, right. go. My That's heart right. was beating and pounding to go. I was envisioning and, those and, people and, at the shelter. I was thinking about people that are lost, that got changed on. Amen. They got no hope. And you got people that just drive by them and feel nothing. And they got no hope. I've been there. Yeah, I've been there where I said, there's no hope. There's nothing I can do. There's no way I can get out of this situation. But when God showed me, here's one of the things that really, that really caught me when I first heard the gospel preached when I was in the world. When somebody says, you will be a new creation and have a new life. I ran for that. I said, so mm. let me get this straight. Mm. You're telling me that if I repent and believe, not only do I not have to go to hell for the things that I have done, because I absolutely deserve to go there. But you mean to tell me that I'm going to be a new man with a new life? reborn yeah sign mm -hmm. me up come on that's you know, right you know. sign right. me up right and i gotta i gotta personally ask for uh, ask for forgiveness to to christ for taking it so lightly being in church and not really love honestly these two guys are you know last couple of years you know they're igniting my fire and god god through prayer i'll give god glory first well through them but but god through prayer prayer is really revealing to me um uh, that, you know, that, that he came down to die for, for the loss. So I really should have, I, I should, have, Lou, Lou always says, and I always, you know, five years ago, I, I just, he says, we're going to hell, man. We got to get out there. I'm like, I'm like, someone, <laughs> right. someone will go. get him. Someone will get him. No, no, somebody will get him. But, but, but honestly, you know, we can't be slow learners. If like Gerard said about baptism, if it says it, just do it. And I'm, le I'm learning now. If, if the loss is important to Christ and they might go to hell, let's just get out there when we can. Um, you don't got to be, I'm, I'm the least of professionals. I don't, I don't, I don't. Right. I, I'm not like this uh, straight guy, but, but anyways. Scripture's but, uh, coming to me. Scripture, scripture, scripture on, time. Oh, wait okay. a minute. Everyone's favorite scriptures. Now, um, what does it say? Time? Make what? Disciples of all nations. No, make church members. Church members? That no, one, let me read. Hold make, on. Think, you sure? Let me see. Hold on. So I think one translation says church members. Church, is that the it's Pharisee the, uh, translation? Uh, That's the, the, JC, the, the JCS. No, there no, we no, go. No. You're right. You're right, Lewis. It says make disciples. Okay. That's, okay. There we go. So, you know, it, it, and that's just something as, as we win souls, you know, we're learning as we go. But, you know, just an encouragement. Next time we go out there, you know, like we got a few numbers from, from uh, you know, certain yeah. individuals because it, yeah, it's numbers. important. There's a lack of discipleship going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus, you know, he says he who wins souls is wise, but he said, make disciples. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got a couple on the hook. Like, for an example, we had yeah. like, well, a brother Jurassic, we sat a brother down. We had coffee with him. We opened up the Bible with him. Um, We, we got the um, he couldn't really read because his eye was a little messed up. We prayed over his eye. We're going to continue to pray, you know, so he gets it a uh, healing. We're going to trust God for a healing. Right. But we're not going to fake it. Yeah. So so the thing is, we got him an audio Bible. We took time to download him an audio Bible, you know, give him coffee. Hear his heart. That's discipleship. When we, when we opened yeah. up the Bible yeah. and we sat there with him, that's, you know, and that's the next step after you get the soul saved, you know, because um, you got to follow after Jesus after that. Don't think you're just going to say, OK, I received Christ. And that's great. Yeah, there's 10 people, you know, they got saved. And if, you know, something happened to them today, yeah, they'll go to heaven like the thief on the cross. But. Let's just say they still uh, let's just say they stay alive. You know, of course, we want them to stay alive for like, you know, years and years on. You could you could stray away from the Lord. You know, you, you got to be obedient. I don't believe once saved, all we say that's that's not biblical to me. Um, and I just believe you have to obey God. You got to <laughs> surrender to the Lord. What somebody's I'm, I'm sorry. Stop laughing at, Sam, Sam, I'm laughing at Lewis. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, he's, hold he's, on. He's, hold he's, on. He's wait, speaking wait. from his heart and you're laughing. No, at no, it's not What's going him. on here? It's the comments. Pastor Sam said, no, it says make tithers of all. <laughs> make what? <laughs> Titles? Tithers. Tithers, that's right. Oh. Yeah, you, you know they want that Everybody. green, boy. They stand up there. I tell you what, money, money, right destroy, hell. money will bring you. you right away from God's purpose. Money <laughs> will drive you right away. The opposite polar listen, direction from God. Sam listen, is right. 
I'm right. telling you, but that's why when you look at Timothy, right, when it talks about the qualifications, right? Yeah. They they ignore that. They oh, I'm a bishop. How do you know? I, they ignore that. I'm telling you, where it says, do not be greedy. Yeah. For right. filthy lucre. Right. That is right. for a reason. My right. man said make tithes off. And don't use ministry for money. I'm sorry. No, 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 that was it. That's all I wanted to say. No, no, no. Say it again. Say it again. I was all I gotta say it again. Like, say it all you just again. gotta watch the the uh the repeat when I'm, when I post I'm it. Sorry, but no, the whole thing was just you know just making disciples. You know, taking the time. You know, after people get saved, you know, to sit down with them and you know talk with them about Jesus. You know, show them yeah. in the scriptures. They don't know where to go. Yeah. You know, show them in the scriptures. Give them some testimonies and Amen. and uh, at the end of the day, you can't force nobody though. Like you know, even this brother that we that we that we're talking to now, I can't force you to read your Bible. That's something you got to do. I can point you to yeah. Jesus. But at the end of the day, it's a free will. It's your choice. And if you're not going to do that, after a while of counseling people, we got to learn when to let people go too. you know, mm. if we sit here, and we're, we're spending time with you and we're, and we're praying with you and there's got to be fruit. Oh, you yeah. Know? One guy if, came up to if me. If you're not reading your word and we're we wasting the time. Are you really serious about God or not? We ain't got no time to play. We got right, some other right. fish, you know, right, bring yeah. them on. There's That's people it. who are just coming for the fish and loaves. One guy came out and said, I'm a minister of the gospel. I said, yeah, sir, can I pray with you? You know, we're two or three are, and I just, I started saying it and he repeated what I right. said. He had no idea. He said, yeah, we're two or three come. And, 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 you know, so, but he's a minister, but right. He didn't, he, he was prideful. He didn't want prayer. So I said, right. can I pray? You know, so nothing against him. He's at the stage of his life. God bless him. He just didn't want prayer. Like you said, you say, I love you. Here's three hot dogs. I, I love you. Um, you know, right. there's no need to mock people and say, oh, he's not a, you know, like Gerard said earlier, it's not about comparing. Let this guy, let this guy find his own way. You can't force him. Let him love him. Love no, because when it, when it comes to discipleship, you know, there ain't no time to waste. You know, still no. you want Jesus or not. Let's get down yeah. to it. You want to go to heaven yeah. or not. You want Jesus. You want to be sold out to Christ. I believe my wife put it in the comment section. You better count the cost. You know, there's a yeah. price to pay. Jesus, Jesus, nailed, Jesus was on the cross. He paid the ultimate price, you know, so so we don't have to go to hell. You know, there's a price to pay. So mm -hmm. when it comes to discipleship, uh, it, I, I look at myself when it comes to uh, discipleship. Nobody had to force me. You know, they yeah. told me what to read in the Bible. They spoke to me about prayer, like Jesus disciples. They said, teach us how to pray. I had people teach me how to pray. They taught just by watching them as well, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, just spending time with them. And they, and they were telling me what they knew about the word of God, what they knew about Jesus. And I was, I was into it, you know, and uh, I was I was being obedient to what I was reading. There was fruit. They, they saw the fruit. So they invested the time in me. You know, that, that's what it's about. There's, there's no time to waste. If you spend time for with sure. people for two or three years, let them go. Let God deal with right. them. Sometimes you got to discern when to let people go. Even the word says that, you yeah. know, you just got to let them go. And, you, and you, you love them in a secret place. You pray for them. Agreed. You know, the, the, the thing is. In, in the body of Christ, there's a lot of teachers, but there's not many fathers. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that the Lord is teaching me now in these days, yes. the importance of being a father and really just, I'm not trying to have 80 disciples right now. I can't handle it, but I That's do right. know that I have one. Um, I'm going to give I, you a thumbs I, up for that one. My, my, seriously, my niece, I know for a fact that I have one, my niece. And the thing that blesses me about her is there's fruit. Um, I've sat down with her for months and uh, poured into her with the word That's of true. God and laid a foundation. And, yeah. and now fruit is being produced. And I just want to share this as a testimony to what God can do. If you take that time to disciple, what happens is we begin to multiply ourselves. Amen. So my niece, um, she does hair. So she has a little hair studio at my mom's house. She does hair, but what she does is while she's doing hair in there, she has like a, a TV and everything. She plays worship music. Wow. Um, <laughs> She plays our podcast. She prays I'm I'm telling you, through this little young lady. She's 19 years old. She's been getting one soul a week. Mm. One soul a week has been coming to the Lord. I'm talking homosexuals. Let's I'm talking go. people that don't know God. They're coming there to get their hair done, but they're having an encounter with Christ because Amen. they're walking into someone who is a disciple of Christ and she cares about souls. She's been getting one a week. Amen. One a week. So listen, it's not about, oh, I got 50. No, 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 no. Quality over quantity. Get you one yeah. person, man. That's we right. all can do this. Best. You don't need to be a pastor. Get you one person, invite mm -hmm. them into your house, sit down, open up the word of God with them. Man. 
cry with them, talk to them, be an example, first of all, because we got a lot of people that like to tell us what we should do in the Bible. Meanwhile, their life is a complete contradiction. So let's make sure that we're practicing what we're preaching as well. But listen, father, be a father, be a mother. You know, and even going in that direction, you know why marriages are so screwed up? Because the scripture says in the book of Titus that the older women in the church should be teaching the younger sisters how to be wise, how to love their husbands, how to take care of their children, how to be keepers at home. Where is that happening at anymore? That's a or whole nother it, podcast right or, there. Or, 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 that's or is week, that out of or, or is <laughs> that, next week? No, 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 no. Is that out of date? Where, where, where are the mothers in the that's church true. and where mm. are the fathers in the church? The Bible's not out of date at all. We, no, don't, we, we don't need we, we don't need more pastors. We we, we need fathers. Fathers. We need fathers and we need mothers and we need people that are going to sit down with these people and disciple them. And you say, oh, we got to win the loss. Well, what are you going to do with them? All right. What are you going to do with them after they're won? You're just going to throw them That's to the it. wolves and tell them Amen. to figure it Come out. On. Good point. Right. Let me. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to get away. Discipleship. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Disciples. Yeah, right. you're getting too passionate. Stay religious. Stay, stay <laughs> religious. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. That's a good point. Good point. No, 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 no. I, bl- I believe it was, uh, you know, a great episode. Once again, thank you, everybody, for tapping in. David, thank you. Sam, Blanca, yes, my praise wife. God. Praise God. Everybody that tapped in. Eric, I-, I forgot all the names. But if you tapped in, God bless all of you and those that are going to, you know, tap in when I post this. I hope you guys are encouraged. Yeah. Hope you're blessed. And if you haven't been to the streets in a while, you know, just remember the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. You know, at the end of the day, the main thing is just connecting with Jesus, you know, going to the secret place, you know, spending time in the word, because when you spend time with somebody, you start to become just like that person. Same thing with Jesus. You spend time in the word, you start to get the mind of Christ. All your evil desires, all your evil thoughts, they start to get flushed away. And then, we'll, and then, and then you start to think about going to the streets. You start to get a burden for souls. That's Come something on. that you can't work up. That only that that impartation takes place when you spend time at the feet of Jesus. And Come he's on. saying, now you got to go. These people are, they're not saved. And you are the hands and feet. There is no preacher. Yeah. You're the preacher. You got to go. Don't wait for nobody with a title. If you're a believer, I live inside of you. Get filled up and go. So everybody just be encouraged. Like what the brother said, there's there's a low-hanging fruit. People want to receive Jesus. People are hurt. People are broken. They want to be set free. And you have the answer if you have Jesus inside of you. So God bless all of you. If you have any prayers, leave them in the comment section. And once again, we're on YouTube as well. Just uh, search us at hashtag Kingdom Minds Podcast, and you'll see all of our podcasts there. Make sure you subscribe if you go there. Turn on the bell. All right. Yep. God bless. Much love to everybody. Amen. God bless you. Hold on. Let's 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 pray. Oh, I'll pray. Um, there we go. I um, got too hype. Father, in Jesus' name, <laughs> we just thank you and give you glory and honor and praise for everybody on here, Amen. Lord. You yes. called us all to do the work of an evangelist. That's right. You caused us all to win souls. So let us not compare ourselves, but let us just be wise and know that you are the standard. The word is the standard and know that the Holy Ghost, when it comes upon us, he will give us power. So we just yes. thank you, Lord, for tapping into that power. Let us be Lord. sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Let us partner with the Holy Spirit. We come against all lies. We bind it and rebuke the whispers yes. of the enemy, telling them that they're not good enough, Jesus. telling That's them right. that they're not qualified, telling them that they can't do it. You can do it Jesus in Jesus name. name. In Jesus all name. you got to right. do is step out on faith. God is saying, just go. I'll go before you. I have already prepared hearts and minds. Somebody else has planted already. Somebody else has watered. Mm-hmm. I have given the increase. They're ready. Just go in Jesus name. Be obedient. Name. Do not be yes. afraid. Just go in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Blessings, everybody. We love you. Amen. Much love. God bless. Okay.